just a bloke in a bar. We used to, during the eight in a row, fill out that stadium, 85 fucking passionate fans, even though we'd lost 85. eight in a row. Yeah, 85,000. 85,000. Mm. Even though we'd lost fucking eight in a row, we still fucking turn up. Our oh. stadium's literally like... Struggling to turn up game one this year. Our stadium's basically 100% bigger than yours. Yeah. It's 100% more than what you have and we fucking <coughs> fill that bitch out. And you're like, we fill that we bitch. Well, I mean, let's just straight into it. Clearly, New South Wales don't get rugby league. Queensland already sold out Suncorp Stadium weeks in advance. Weeks. Tempe. Fucking weeks. Are you yeah. going to the game? Christ. Yeah, actually, I'll be oh, out the front. Are you actually going to go this one? Yeah. Are you out the front? I'll be out the front. Are you going to go, go into around? the ground? Yeah. Maybe, no maybe way. not. Okay, he's That's not in there. Just, just so you know, corporate camp in with NRL, not going to take a ticket to the game. Doesn't get rugby, doesn't get rugby league, doesn't get origin. Well, he doesn't get his state, put no. it that way. He's not even going to support the boys. I've actually been in Suncorp Stadium playing, so is that better than watching, you reckon? The origin final? So no. you'd rather watch an origin than yeah. play have you played NRL? A, have you played a, have you state played a decider? decider. Because that's what you try to imply. That's what we're trying to, is this the no, no, no. no. Well, I technically, I, technically, I have actually run it on Eans. Have you played at Apex Oval? You know yeah. what I mean? Have you? <laughs> yeah. like, have you ever played at Apex? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like round like four, look, you played at the Barrel Blacks. Does that embarrass you though that we sell it out that quickly, honestly? No, it's 50% I tell you what, less. I tell you what, do, does it impress me that fucking under two weeks out mm. from a decider, do you sell out your tiny stadium? No, it doesn't impress <laughs> yeah. me. No, it doesn't impress <laughs> that, me. Really? No. Okay. Tiny boutique Because I remember a few, there was quite a few stories about New South Wales being forced to like hand out free tickets just to sell yeah, out. Yeah, but you're, that's because you're reading the Courier Mail, out. dude. You and fucking Peter Bedell what do you mean? sucking each other <laughs> what off. What do you mean like, That's all this is. Do you know what we do in New South Wales? We give our tickets to the needy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Something you Queenslanders don't get. No. Nah. Yeah. You want to go watch after the Mighty Maroons? you refuse to go to Perth early to help out needy kids. Support the game, no. grow the game. Fucking let's stay in Queensland for a couple extra days and pull each other off. You fucking disgrace. <laughs> it's about growing the game. Yeah. Growing the game. Yeah, Billy, well, clearly, clearly it needs help in Billy New South Wales. You can't hand. even sell out a game Billy one showed origin. His hand there. We He's did sell out a game one origin. You gave away half the tickets. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. There's word on the street, 60% of tickets word were given away free. Word, word on the street. It's word on the street. Queensland, bloody, sure. you know. And we uh, still beat young. Tin foil hat bullshit. What are you talking about? We beat, we beat you at home. We just won. You won away. Who cares about We just beat the Perth. shit out Barely anyone there. watched, man. It's on Sunday. That's why Vinny's cancelled it. Queensland Vinny's, spirit. Vinny's, Vinny's hated it so much he cancelled Sunday Where's Origins. Where's your Queensland spirit now, Kempi, you dumb prick? <laughs> Vinny's literally cancelled Sunday Origins. That's how bad it was. No, he didn't cancel it. Oh, okay. What do you do? The broadcaster wanted it Wednesdays. Mm. And he bowed down? Because he bows down hey, the corporate dollar here, yeah. like the rest he of us. Fucking, don't you <laughs> like the rest of us, mate. We you all bow down to the corporate to dollar. The, to the king. At the end of the day, Kempi, you need to face facts. Mm. And these are the facts. Okay. 30, 30 unanswered second half <laughs> points. 30. Yeah. Okay. 30. Yeah. That is fucking disgraceful. And essentially, <laughs> essentially, you only scored one fucking try because the Felice one was forward. So you're like, which yeah, everyone, but which Bert, 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 was forward. Bert and Totoro was forward. Fucking awful. No, it wasn't. Mm. No, it wasn't. Look, no. you're getting a bit caught up. In like game two, there's still a game to go, boys. No, yeah. we know. But I, I know there's a game to go. Very we're focused not on talking. Like, we're not talking about the game to go. We're mm. talking about what happened. <clears throat> yeah. What happened is mm. Jerome Luai mm. and. Uh, uh, <laughs> Like trying to tackle him, embarrassing. Nathan yeah. Cleary did it twice in two minutes. Yeah. Like, mm, and then all pointing at each other. Are you prepared to like acknowledge that, you're, that your side and by extension, your state mm. just gave up? Gave when up. the yeah. going got tough. Look, they, they realised They realized that clearly the ref and everyone was against us. They want to go to game you three. Let's appease the masses. Let's go to game three. Us? Yeah, you won yeah. the penalty hey, count. What, hey, on the companion. What you happened? won the penalty count. Towards who the end of the game, who let's the blow a bunch of penalties towards the end of the game. Who won the penalty count? And can I be honest? Let's go back to the Felice thing. <laughs> yeah, let's go back, Eddie. Was there five or six repeat sets of six in a row on yeah. the fucking trailer? And Felice Cafusi. Six. Four. There was or two, five. There was six. two and And then Felice literally not even doing anything, just sitting on him. I went and watched it again because we watched the replay. He's on him for fucking ages 10 seconds and the ref had already warned him get the fuck off him it was lazy mm. and it was bullshit and that is a fucking sin bin every day of the week yeah. so mm. forget all that rubbish refereeing decision bias all that bullshit no 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 you care can't just flop says. on someone for 15 seconds and get away with it because that's yeah. what you queenslanders do you try to take the fucking piss <laughs> yeah you went on side 
at all you for that second angrier than me. You won. I am pumped up. Very angry. Fucking oath I am. Jesus. No, no, I'm pumped up telling you how it is. <laughs> you wouldn't you know get what? passion for your stuff. Here's the facts. Here's the facts. Game one, the play the ball average speed was three. Game two, it was four. Clearly New South Wales line all over the right. Clearly New South Wales coming up saying this. Off. Okay, so what, why was it slow in the first game? It was faster you were in the down. first game. No, but, but like if you're implying that New South Wales started doing it, mm. you should double it. It should be six seconds because you're, you're fucking... <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's a great point. You just wrapped him up there. You, you got me in a pretzel up. there. Dude, you wrapped just him up double the cut. <laughs> you got him. Uh, six seconds. It would be six if we were doing what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's good. Look, I mean, we do want to promote the game. Bring it back to Suncorp. I mean, look, it's all about giving back to the Queensland fans. And that's what we're going to do. Queensland, mm. towards the end of the game, we're sitting there going, look, we want to give back to Queensland fans. Let them have this one. And we're going to go back to Queensland, mm. win, get the job done. Game it's, over. It's also, it's just, I think it's important for Eddie and I just to mention this. We did go hunting for tickets as we can report that tiny ass stadium sold out. So we are now like, <laughs> Like if you've got like a corporate box or something, <clears throat> a couple of tickets rolling around, you just want a couple of young, handsome guys to just come Do you seriously want to go there? Of, yeah. I could try to get some for you. Thanks. There you go. Yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be but good, also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you want to have a couple of young, handsome, strapping young New South Welshmen in your box, just to be like really amic amicable and, you know, <laughs> yeah. we won't like rub it in your face when we win at a cider in yeah, Queensland healthy, for the third time in the history of the game. Some like, Jabba John. We'll be so but like we need to have like complimentary piss and food, right? Like that's. Yeah. Well, that I think that goes without saying, doesn't that it? Would be, that would be the <laughs> so is that, is that you're sending out the bat signal for if someone has a corporate box? Yeah. You only do corporate? Out. You don't do in the punter and dribbler nosebleed section? No, nah. like we'll take anything. Okay. <laughs> That's within reason. We'll take anything, but like now I do have corporate box on the brain. Okay. It's hard to get it off the brain. Well, I'll tell you what. But having said that, having said that, we're not greedy guys. No. Yeah. We're not greedy goats. We yeah. will take anything. Okay. Corporate box. Well, I will say this, Eddie. And but I obviously preferences. Eddie, I want to warn you as a mate. Warn you as a mate here. Yep. Don't let Tom organise it. No, Because you will literally end up in the nosebleed section. That's why Tom doesn't organise anything. Yeah. I'm Tom reminds me of my missus. Like, <laughs> they mean well, and they're, but it's like, it's a bridge too far. Don't let me do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Ella Look. once convinced me, I don't know if I've told this before, but she convinced me that it would be a good, I'm like, we need to book accommodation for the day after New Year's Eve, the yep. first of fucking whatever, up in Queensland. So you can just lay back. And she's and so I can ride back and relax. I'm yeah. like, there's something here. Let's book it. She's like, let's not do it. I want to go to the beach. I'm like, let's just quickly book it. She's like, no, it'll be sweet. It'll be sweet. Oh. Anyway, day rolls around. Oh. Fucking nothing available. And I look and I'm like, you just, <laughs> you just infuriate me. <laughs> Same with Tom. Yeah, he doesn't get it. No, but yeah. I don't actually try to get it. Really, I did. I fucked that night. No, up. you try to get well, it. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll tell, we'll tell the pun and dribbler what happened. We'll tell the pun and dribbler what happened. Look, sure. I was happy to buy the tickets for us all to go. Magic round, very exciting stuff. Go there. Didn't get let in for the first 15 minutes for some reason. Mm. Security literally pulled me aside yep. and said, you're in a ghillie suit. You're not let in. And I was like, I'm just in a ghillie suit. What's wrong with that? Anyway, we end up getting in. And I was telling Tom before the match, when we're getting the tickets, get these tickets here. It's okay if we pay a little bit extra. We get to we the We couldn't ground. get them. We get we're trying to, to get every He must have waited until the day before. No, he must no, have waited no. the day Mate, before. Mate, I was with you on the fucking thing. I'm going, there's none of these tickets I here. Would, I'd say this. <laughs> I'd say this. And I'm just, I'm not trying to get you offside here. Sounds I'm just like being honest. Like be I don't game. think that you, I would trust you navigating a ticket sales website. No, I just that's don't fair. Think trust That doesn't get me offside. I'd don't probably, trust him navigating, period. Because then we walked around for mm. 10 minutes looking for the bloody thing. We ended up it's literally, and this is not an exaggeration. We were literally one row away from the top of the stadium. It was as high as you get. And it was so fucking hot. It was so hot. We were in the nosebleeds of the nosebleeds. You couldn't get higher. Mm, with the so, people. With the people. Yeah, we were definitely no, with the people. I don't care, but you don't feel comfortable being with the fucking oh, man yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, bloody yeah. corporate campy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus. Mr. You're, Mr. He's, 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 you're million. asking for corp. Oh, Mr. 40 mil. <laughs> this random number just been pulled out of your ass. This fucking. 50, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. Exactly. 50 million. Fuck, yeah. I'd love to see that. Warren Buffett over oh. East. Oh. Fucking. Happy with the nosebleeds. I was just happy to be at the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. It was just good to be there. It's a good anyway, memory though, wasn't on. it? So you just want to fucking, what else? What else? You weren't happy with the tickets. We upset with You know what I was happy with? Us. Broncos pounding manly into the earth. That's what I was happy 30 with. 30 points second half, New South Wales. Did we, was it like 38 nil or something that we beat? Just 36 nil? Did you, uh, just to double back to Origin quickly. Yeah, just yeah, quickly. Yeah, back to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's a great point. <laughs> just, to, just, just quickly if I could. <laughs> Remember we put 50 on you in the first game, like, last year? Yes, I do, yes. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, yes. Like, did you think that you'd, you'd be back in that 
a similar position? Like, did you think that it was going to happen again so quickly? Back in the 40s, you yeah. know? No, no. They look, to be honest, they're not even close. We, yes, we were dominated game one last time. This time, all the odds were against us. You don't think thought, you were dominated in this game? Cause that's, last 20. Last 20. So you were dominated in the last 20. Last 20. That's yeah, it. 44-12, yeah. wasn't it? Game one. 40, 44-12? 44-12. Game one, though, dominated 80 minutes. You didn't, though. You won by six points. No, no, no. I'm talking about game one last year. Oh, we dominated you. We got dominated. And we dominated you game minutes. two as well. Yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah. You, hey, you looked dominated game, the series. In game three, we were like, we were just bending. Let's not pick all the players. Just let's pick the rest. But then like, <laughs> but then, like last night, yeah. or Sunday night, we dominated you. It was domination. 20 minutes. The last 20 Dude, minutes. Dude, we had ball like, gags no in your mouths and we were whipping you. Like it was real BDSM yeah. shit. Yeah. You Maybe were, we like that. You were gagged up. You clearly Maybe like Maybe we like to get gagged yeah, you up. you do like getting dominated because yeah, we do. do it every year. Because <laughs> then we like to flip the position nah. and surprise mm, you. No, no, no. You try. Yeah. We allow a bit of role play. And then we I hope you know. Bang, I hope you know that down. in the front print was, yeah, okay, bit of BDSM, but we flip you at the end and dominate you. That's no, no, what no. the front print we is. We allow you in the start of the BDSM role playing situation <laughs> to think that you've got the upper hand. It's like, oh, yeah, da, da, da. and then it's like, we, you, you know, as soon as you get to game two, you guys roll up. That, by, by the time we get to game two, we start to put the beads in. Yeah. And by game three... You've got like 11 beads You got 11 or 12 ass, in there. And yeah. we're pouring hot wax and on your And you gagged sacks. up. Yeah, yeah. And you got you got candle wax on your sack. Yeah, ball gags in the mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Yep. Um, Do you get the picture? Well, I think we I think we signed different contracts because I'm confident that you're the ones that end with the bead no, in your ass. No, 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 no. no I'm confident so. New South Wales players end well, with the beads in their exactly ass. Exactly how this fucking Look. role play goes. Oh, it's meant to be in your ass. And before you know it, you got eleven of them. <laughs> In the bum. Um, look, I think game three is going to be a cracking game. I actually, I want to thank Queensland for allowing us to get this yeah. the pinnacle of rugby league, Lame. which is a game three decider. Lame. So who is the shittest player for Queensland? You <coughs> no shit players. Well, who is the shittest though? No shit players. Who is like the weakest all through played, the middle? Like through all the middle. Who was the ones that like led you all the You think they played outstanding? <coughs> outstanding. They missed 56 tackles. Just had the world against them. 56 tackles. 56 had the world against them. Gay guys missed 18 tackles in two games. He'll come back. But I'm just, that wasn't yeah, an answer. Like, so you are. He's worried. Okay. He's worried about Dan Gagai. Oh my God. Are Fuck you more worried about <laughs> that he's absolutely pounded you into the earth for series after series no, for dude, what, you know what, 10 years? No, dude, you know what? Father time, mother time. Is 18 tackles an effort thing? Screams of effort to me. He's dealing with a lot of club land. Let's just put it that way. He's dealing with a lot of club land. Fuck me. And he's going to come out and Matt Burton hasn't been? Yeah. Probably doing a bit point. better, actually. Great point. No, he's not. He's I would say Doggy's going better than uh, He's Come lost on. a coach that he signed the club with, and the team's getting humped by everyone, except for like the last two games. And he's and he's been getting used to a new position. Like mm. you, Dane Gagai has been playing centre. A lot at going on in Clubland. That is. Nah, There's a lot going on in Clubland. Same Peter. with Selwyn Cobo. Oh my god. He's going through contract negotiations. Selwyn just resigned. Cobo just on resigned. Tulani. Fucking top of the table. <laughs> Broncos, cows, yeah, mm. they're going through a lot at the club, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, well, yeah. so one is contract negotiations. Mine's they're going through heaps of the club. Yeah, well, heaps, heaps. Heaps. Contract heaps, negotiations. Heaps, so heaps, that heaps. can stress any young man out. He's finally re-signed today, which is exciting news for Brisbane Broncos. He knows where the best club is. Mm. Re-signs. He's going to be ready to go game three, concentrating, no distractions, ready to go. That's what's going to happen. So you big gag guy adding tackles you are worried about. That's not worried at all. Not worried, not worried a single bit. Because he's pounded you into the earth way more than he's But Father Time is now rat tat tatting on his door and going, hey, buddy. Time's up. He, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. He actually started the year really well, and then Clubland struggled, and he's just trying to bounce back from that. Either, either it's father time, mm. or it's an effort thing. Mm. <laughs> well, you it would suggest that Queensland has Queensland spirit left his body. I did like, and you know what, like Kenty, Kenty, uh, someone that I watch regular in three sixty. I do, you mate. Because, like, obviously, we it's easy to say Queensland just gave up, right? Because that's certainly the vibe. They just gave up, rolled over, fucking, I'm just a, I'm a dog. I'm a, I'm a domesticated dog. Like, you thought I was a wolf, but I'm not. I'm just a soft cock little dog, and you want to pat my belly. But it's actually, I think, Eddie, that they just ran out of puff. Like, they actually don't have enough puff to keep up with New South Wales. So it's actually kind of like, I feel a bit sorry for them. Well, put it this way, Tom. If you're going to puff with the big boys, you'd want to have a set of lungs on you. They don't have lungs. You know what I mean? You Queensland don't have puff. lungs. You ran out of puff, you ran out of ticker. That's all it is. Which, which ran one is, out of ticker. Which one is it then? Which Holy one is it? It's one of these. It's one of these. Either Queensland spirit's bullshit and it's yeah. left the building. Okay. You don't give a fuck about your state and you're rolled <laughs> over and you've missed 56 tackles or you can't puff with the big boys. Yeah. So it's you're one of those three. Yeah. yeah. Look, or the world was against us mm -hmm. and we decided- How was the world against you when you won the penalty count? We know what we know what happened with the penalty count, come on, boys. We know what happened with the penalty count. What, what happened? And you got a forward pass. There was a, there was a, try a, there was a bunch you. of penalties yeah. awarded towards the end of the you game. Got a even fake up. try. Got a fake try. You got a fake try. <laughs> um, we we're just trying to we're just trying to bring game three. It's the most exciting part of rugby league. It's game three. It's a decider at Suncorp. 
It is the heart of rugby league. We all know Suncorp is the heart of rugby league. Brisbane is the heart of rugby league. All we're trying to do is give the rugby league fans real rugby league, which is game three deciders at Suncorp. Now, if you deny that, you deny rugby league and you think, and you hate rugby league. But you okay, I, I, well, you know, part of me is happy that game three is in origin because you know what our little dynasty that we've got going on at the moment is missing? <laughs> you know what our, where our dynasty is missing? One in a row. Do you know what our dynasty is missing? What? Game three Suncorp <laughs> W. Mm. Decider. A decider. We have only won twice there in deciders and we're fucking due another one. Mm. And this team, this dynasty yeah. that we're rocking with right now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a nice little notch on the belt. Mm. Mm. Feather to the bow. Feather to the bow. Yeah, look, I, I, look String it's going to be interesting. Bow. String. Look, Feather. we're going to go that, do our best as Queenslanders. We're just going to go <laughs> battle to the, the death. That's what we do. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Queensland. We're going to battle to the death. Cut out for it. I actually, the more I think about it, the narrative's perfect now for us. Yeah, okay. You're feeling a lot of narrative vibe? Drenched in it. <laughs> Drenched in Freddie was confident afterwards. He was like, <clears throat> yeah, cool. Now we go to Queensland, game three. Got to do it. Get the thing done. And if He's Cleary just... is to be the great that we all think he will be, mm. he needs a Suncorp victory. Yeah, he mm. needs a decider I mean? victory. He needs a decider victory at mm. Suncorp. Much like, much like the great Joey Johns in 05. Joseph. Mm. Joseph Johns, have you heard of him? <laughs> You've heard of Joseph? <laughs> I've heard of Joseph. Yeah, Jesus' is dad. Yeah. <laughs> The carpenter, yeah. and by carpenter, the footy player. Yeah, well, he'd yeah. build fucking, he'd build match-winning performances on his own back. Yeah, okay. Um, Are look, you with us? You, look, with you. you guys know Munster though, don't you? Um, the no, bloke that did not march. Yeah, scored a try. The but bloke it was that tore easy. you apart game one. What did you Won a to? series with the worst side in forty years. Nothing. Multiple that was, that premierships. Was off the back of Daily Cherry Evans. Let's be honest. He won a series after Benders. Like, come on. That come worst on. side he's in still forty years thing was complete. You guys live in the past. At least my guy's still playing. You guys like literally what? You retired ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Well, we're just talking about that's what. Nathan what what needs you to never do. bring up the king, Wally Lewis? Fucking hell! Yeah. I've literally never brought Wally Darren Lewis up Lockyer, once. Darren fucking. I've never brought Wally Darren Lewis Lockyer up. Darren Lockyer's shaft rarely leaves. Wally and mouth. Darren. <laughs> well, Darren's doesn't leave his mouth. <laughs> and God knows where Wally's is. <laughs> <laughs> You'd only guess yeah, where Wally's yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, game three is going to be great. Spit. It's going to be bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they got that. No. I think they understood <laughs> where you were going with that joke. <laughs> Just in case. Well, yeah, they would have a slide of the you uptake. You never know. You never know. You never a couple, know. Of those, couple of those North Queenslanders might not. You're going to make sure of it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to another episode of Bloke in a Bar. Uh, got a few brown hoodies left, I think. I think uh, 10 or 20 of them. I haven't checked recently. It was about 20 a couple of days ago. Still haven't been given our hoodie. <laughs> really? No, they're definitely set aside. They're definitely set aside. Matt, uh, Still haven't. Cam's so been sick. Cam's been sick. But you have, trust Remember me. Remember to give us that New South Wales setting plus job we've been asking for as well. Yeah. No, no, they didn't ask for that. Well, we'll get that for you. Didn't ask for that. Um, I, think, I actually for. think they're in that box. That's what Cam said. Oh, well, there they are. They're on the box over there. Convenient. <laughs> it is convenient. It's very convenient. Because you're right there. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, see, we even deliver it to you in person. That's what kind of bloke I am. Mm. You would have to come get it. Rah, rah, go well, to the post I mean, office. We are, we're here. Yeah, we are having to come get it. Well, technically, it's a bit tough. Well, I'm just saying too. I mean, we're literally. I'm giving. I think it's one of each color. Still having to come pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Still in a character car. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, uh, yes, go to bloke.shop, grab some merch. Also, bloke and our beer. It's in now in every single liquor legends. The mid is and Bri uh, bloke OG is in every bottle of celebrations. Porter's Liquor, IGA Plus Liquor in New South Wales ACT, and it's in every single celebration superstore in Queensland. Also, I will be out the front of Suncorp with the NRL and TikTok, interviewing fans of the game, pitting us against each other, asking you questions, giving away prizes, a uh, bunch of free stuff to give away. Also, you'll be on the NRL live stream if I interview you. So come down, you may be interviewed by myself, uh, and it'd be great to meet you. Just outside Suncorp, I will be there for game three. Extremely exciting times, it's sold out, which is incredible. Uh, um, but yeah, I guess we've got a, or, we, I mean, we'll quickly review the origin. Uh, spoke about it on Monday, but I guess I wanted to get your thoughts uh, on the game and who you thought your man of the match was. Uh, and there are rumours, rumours that Jake Dvojevic gave one of the all-time halftime speeches. Yeah, look, I don't think anyone should be shocked by that. Jake Dvojevic is New South Wales. Yeah. He is the state. He just gets it. The moment he went onto the field, you were like, oh, this motherfucker's ready to party. He didn't miss a tackle, I think 36 tackles, something like that. Didn't miss a single one. Made some crucial fucking tackles. Played 71 minutes in the middle. Didn't look tired. Just fucking truck nut. Mm. And just... 
crushed a beer after the game. Yeah, because he knows what he's doing. He made such light work of that. But I heard whispers that he gave one of the great halftime speeches of all time and I would pay big, big, big money to hear what he said. Put yeah. it as your alarm every morning? Fuck, Baz, if you yeah. wouldn't, bro, what you want to get, you're getting out of bed <laughs> oh, one I'm day and you're having it. a tough day, you know, the world's against you, you need some motivation, mm. bang, what's the alarm going off? Check Jakey T's yeah. game two, Perth origin speech. That's, <laughs> mate, are you telling me that if he released a motivational series a la David Goggins, but in a more traditional Northern Peninsula based mm. manly rhetoric sort of vibe mm. that you wouldn't buy that. <laughs> How much are we talking on the app store? 99 cents, dollar, five dollars. He wouldn't, wouldn't charge, charge. Up. He wouldn't he charge. Wouldn't charge. Okay, 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 okay. Do you know what you're talking about, mate? <laughs> he's not trying to clip tickets like you fucks. He's just happy to give it to the people. <laughs> he just wants everyone to have it. Man of the people. Yeah. Man of the people. Now, do you think it was is purely original this halftime speech, or do you think he took best no, bits from dude, the best he speeches? Doesn't pinch like Billy does, mate. He's fucking. <laughs> he's a ridgy dig. He's a ridgy dig. Yes, yeah, mate. not a content stealer. He speaks from the heart. It would have been one from one. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. From the heart, straight off. He didn't re rehearse it at all, or you reckon no, in the mirror that dude, morning? No, dude. He is just no, in I, the moment. He's present. I think he looks around the room. Mm. Okay. Obviously, Teddy said some words. Obviously, Freddie said some words, and he goes, "You know what? Oi, Freddie, Teddy, now, steady." I got this. Steady on, I got this. And it's now it's now it's time for an injection of JKT. T. Mm. Bang. Yeah. All passion. All passion. He would have talked about family. We he would have talked about here? state. He would have been he would have been near on tears. Yeah. You know what yeah, he's yeah, like. yeah. Pride, passion, power, families. Bleed blue. But he would have Bleed said, blue, Follow me, state. boys. I'll set the fucking temper. Yeah. Do you reckon he threw in a I'll little, set the tone. A da 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 in it? Or not? Just a little baby one? I don't think so. I yeah. don't think. I, I think that maybe. I think he probably would have teed up someone to just have that like playing low underneath background. him as he's talking. Then as he's getting more fucking jacked up, the volume comes up and then it just finishes and everyone's just New South Wales, <laughs> where the blues. That's how I would have seen it going. Yeah. But yeah. again, I wasn't in there. Okay, we weren't in there. That's surprising. Mm. How do you have your like family? Look, we had things on. We had the stream to do. We had <laughs> to do stuff for the punter and the dribbler. That's what yeah. we do. Mm. That's commitment, eh? Saying, saying no to a New South Wales locker room halftime speech for the punter and the dribbler. Like, you guys yeah. are generous. But I, like, if I had to guess, I would say I'm almost 100% certain that he would have spoken about, you know, our families back on the <laughs> East Coast, of which we are. So, yeah. In so facto, he was. So you reckon he even us. said, like, look what Tommy and he doing right now. Yeah, fucking, fucking doing a companion oh, yeah, for the yeah. punter. They could have been here. They yeah. could have flown. They would have been like, they've got the companion going in front of millions of people. <laughs> like, don't let them down. They were offered exit row seats over to Perth, you know, and then put up in a really, you know, mid range hotel room. <laughs> On with, with, with you, like not on two, a plus one, a no, plus twin, twin share. share, a plus twin share, plus twin plus share, free breakfast, though, plus free twin breakfast, share. well, continental, <laughs> continental, continental, you know. And they turned it down to dribble and yarn for the pun and the dribbler. That's yep. the sort of guys they are, that's the sort of guys we've got to be. He was looking at all the boys' eyes and they're going, Yeah, fucking oath, fucking oath. And then the rumor is, as they ran out, they, read, they yelled, Tom and Eddie. Yeah, then he New literally South looked at him and said, like, Tom and Eddie turned down a continental breakfast, like. To, to support the what state. Are you, what are you prepared to what do? Are you, what are you giving up? Yeah. They gave up wheat bix and milk, baby, yeah. Yeah. and Isn't free orange OJ? juice yeah. and some raisin toast to wash it all down. Bit That's of what yogurt, they gave up. Bit of yogurt to mix inside your tummy. You know, yogurt and OJ doesn't go well, but yeah. you do it anyway. I'll tell you what, you know what it, it's all about sacrifice when it comes to origin. Yeah. And a lot of the time, Queenslanders aren't prepared to <laughs> sacrifice. Clearly, they can't go so you don't a reckon the, couple of days early. So you boys don't reckon the Queenslander would be willing to sacrifice a continental breakfast to win an Origin Series? Mm, that's exactly what I'm saying. Jesus. Yeah. I tell you what, that those toast, the toast does hit different when it goes through those machines rather than the toasting thing. Look, those you, toast could argue, machines are good. you yeah. could argue that a continental breakfast is just a breakfast at home, but it's not. <laughs> Nah. It's, oh, it's not. No it's way. So much more. So much well, more. You just, you know what, you're showing you don't get breakfast if that's your fucking attitude. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. No one got more excited about continental breakfast than my dad. Nobody. <laughs> and you know what he'd have? What? Wheat bix and milk. Oh, fuck. Do you me. know what he used to have at home? <laughs> you guessed it. Wheat bix and milk. But it didn't matter. It's got a bit of pizzazz about it. The it continental was free. Resident. Yeah, <laughs> it's free. And that's what mattered. It is interesting that they still roll with And that. jam toast. Jam toast is good. With a butter or no butter? Butter. Oh, plenty of butter. Come on. <laughs> Mountains of it. Okay. Um, but it is interesting how they still use those machines that make your toast go through it. You know, those you know what I'm talking about? Those machines taste good. I, I think that's probably, you know, the optimum machine for toasting bread. Mm. 
that one where it's just it's rolling through the conveyor belt. It's also yeah, a bit of fun because you watch well, it. Well, it is. You're on the bread line. You know I, I mean? like to I like to sit back and get the run you know, the the lay of the land before I step up to the machine. Well, because you got to well, you got to evaluate like to the see, speed of the machine. Well, you'll see what it's spitting out. I like to see what it's spitting out because sometimes you'll see it'll spit it out too early, <laughs> and you'll go, "Can I can I go a second run here and mm. get and get the optimal?" In which case, I'll leave it. Mm. But if it's if it's coming out slight like close but not close enough, then you got a fucking timing issue on your hands. Yeah, that's it also very depends important. on how many people are using the thing, though, right? Like if you've got a clear if you got clear air, then you can. But you really do. Well, it depends. It depends because obviously a, a breakfast period can run from anywhere from like seven thirty to ten, ten thirty. If you've got a very a pretty lenient uh, hotel, maybe even eleven, if you want to push. I the tell boat you what, out. when they throw in breakfasts from like six to late, you know they're just trying to save money. They're like, oh, you get a free breakfast, but it's at four in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, <laughs> yeah. If you're not up at four, you can't get it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like most people go to breakfast around the same time if they're on holidays. It's about nine thirty, ten. <laughs> But as long as you've got the opportunity to push then, it to yeah. 11. Yeah. Well, you're not on holiday. Well, you're having a fight with the missus. Or you have fucking children who have been up since six. And you're like, we you need dad? to pass time. Are you, I, I got a couple are you of dad? Yeah, okay, walk yeah, us through yeah, that. How'd yeah. that happen? Well, bro, so like the pound towns. You, yeah. you ever heard of them? The yeah, shoes yeah. that you wear for rooting. And <laughs> pound town ones or twos? Well, the pound town ones got me my first job, pound town twos. Second well, time. you learnt from the first time of you know better ways to get yeah. grip and all that well, kind of you, stuff. It can improve. You can a shoe can always be improved. And yeah, it was. I tell you who could have done with a couple of pe- uh, a set of pound town ones or twos. Teddy, Teddy. Mm. Yes, Teddy. He needed grip. He needed pound town ones. He or needed pound town ones on, bro. He was, he was bloody skidding everywhere. <laughs> Every run, he would just go past the camera angle. <laughs> yeah. In that first <laughs> half, he <laughs> fell over. F- what ten times? Well, we we called for better sprigs, and we had the second half. I think they listened because he didn't slip over again after we got angry. We got pound towns on. That was that was pound towns that you called him. Freddie and said, "Listen, we just created pound some pound sprigs towns straight to fucking up the stadium. Get him to put these on. <coughs> Air dropped. Yep, Amazon." But anyway, <laughs> so, so so basically, you don't like you don't like my my thinking around the fact that most people have breakfast at the same time. I'm just saying that as long as I you, I like it. I as, like it. I don't long, have kids though. I'm not anti it. I'm saying if you got kids, you're going earlier. That's just the reality. Why? Because just tell you, them to sleep in. Yeah. yeah. Tell them to shut the no. fuck up. Seriously. <laughs> Pull their heads in. Yeah. Dad, dad, daddy's yeah. daddy yeah. is trying to sleep. Just tell them to go back to bed. Yeah. 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 I, ask me I don't understand why yeah. they don't do that. Parents always complain about yeah. their kids not doing shit. Oh, just tell them to do it. Yeah. It's like, oh, be quiet. Yeah. They'd be quiet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. exactly how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Back to bed. Yeah. Three hours sleep. Seriously, be a bit firm. Three hours sleep I got. Just be firm. Three yeah. hours sleep I got. Not last or night, keep them up later so they stay in later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's also a good point as well. Instead I of putting them to bed and then you sitting up. We've been longer. through this weeks ago though. Like, you know, yeah. there's people that, that wake up really early. Bro, yeah. you're just going to bed too early. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Your kids are just going to bed too early. That's exactly Get right. Get some lollies into them around yeah. 8.30. Uh, it's not a bad point. Get them up to but about if you, 12. If you don't want them up at four, yeah. instead of putting them to bed at seven, put them down at nine. Mm. Exactly. Problem yeah, solved. Problem solved. There you, go. you guys should do like a parenting podcast. I reckon. Yeah, I think yeah, we, should, we just did. I, yeah. I, literally. Mm. I think this will be shared amongst parents everywhere of how to sort kids out. Yeah, and I get reckon to you, get down a food You'll probably eating. have like a mother's group on the doorstep trying to kill you. That's what will happen. Oh, it's really? Like, yeah. Oh, that's we're just trying to help. Come after Jesus. You. No, well, trying they're coming after you. You try and tell well, a mother Kill each other that. to buy our, buy our yeah, shit. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's your shit? What are you selling? Advice. Well, what's the podcast going to be called? Uh, um, Bacon Eddie chat babies. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon Eddie chat babies. I like it. There's something in that. Yeah. There's something in that. Yeah. Could you imagine though if you did like a, a like a satirical, a satirical, satirical, oh satirical, satirical, satirical. Yeah. Oh, Everything you say after this now, unfortunately. Satirical. Uh, like you just talked about how you could take care of kids, but it was all just bullshit. It would be interesting to see because like a lot of mums would like that because you could make in jokes on family stuff, mm. but do it in a way where, it's kind of like how you used to talk about sport. Do you like that idea or no? I, and I resent that because we don't talk about sports satirically. We're hundred percent serious about sport. No, sorry. Uh, that's what we are. We're a serious sports show. I Listen, how do I think that would go? I don't think that the mums would take, you, you'd need to be really funny. You know what I mean? Like so you'd what you're know, saying, not, we're not What funny. if the mums did it? That's what more- Would that think. land better? If mums did it, I think it might land better than dad, then, Dudes who don't even have kids doing but it. But that's what's the funny part about it. <laughs> yeah, but you probably wouldn't yeah, get it. Yeah, I think it. that's funny. You know what I mean? Probably, There's the irony. Get it though. There's the irony. Here is two white males doesn't matter talking about children. Sis. That doesn't matter sis what as color well. you are. So sis the sis does. 
Oh, yeah. Throw cis, this just in. Cis white males, one Chinese, one dubbo. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it would work. I'm just saying crazy things have happened. We'll start it up. Well, Eddie maybe we will. <laughs> but I tell you what, you're not going to clip of anything. We I initially don't want had to clip you. We, this one. we not, initially had you in, no, and now you're not in. Don't include well, me. Are in you this saying one. no to equity? You yeah, say no, no. To equity. I, well, you, he said I don't have it. I'm saying it's fine. Don't keep. But it down. feels like you are, would have said no anyway. Yeah. If it was I offered. won't say no to free equity, but I'm not going to do any work for it. It wouldn't be free. You'd have to do something for it. I'm not doing anything for it. Fucking hell. No. Life not must be pretty good one. over there. Look, I need the coin. Oh, if you right want to see, Corby if you want to see the podcast, <laughs> Corby Camp over here, fucking. I need the coin. You let us know if you want to see that. Yeah, let us know. Let us yeah. know in the comment section. Would you like babies. to hear Beak yeah. and Eddie talk about Beak and Eddie, Eddie and Beak talk about babies <laughs> and how to take care of children? Yeah. Imagine if we went to number one. I'm like, the, I'm like, Probably, I'm like you know what? It would actually be funny if we you could, just launch one. You could go number one first week. And get everyone to download it. <laughs> that would be oh, fucking fuck. hilarious. That might actually be a hectic <laughs> that idea. That would actually be very funny. <laughs> Beacon Eddie Talk Babies. One week. <laughs> one week extravaganza. Yeah. And number one, screenshot number that one in front of it. <laughs> 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 it's in health and lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually very funny. Number one fucking parenting podcast <laughs> in the country. <laughs> Two dudes a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck that's gold that's fucking gold <laughs> um now to origin uh first we'll talk we talk about burden on on monday and i'm sure you guys did as well but i mean oh, wow. we talk about burden holy when we talk about a new hot boy being on the scene mm. there's a new hot boy in the scene his name's matty burden yeah he, he's i also, like what you said about him where it was like that he's not need, like you might even have another center running more meters like doing more sort of like statistical shit. Mm. But every time the opportunity presents itself, when someone like him gets the opportunity thrust yep. upon him, he just seems to, to make it happen. Yeah, 100%, absolutely. Cause like he, he's kind of like Latrell in a different way. Like Latrell, you don't want him running 200 meters getting bashed constantly. You just mm. want those big moments to come and he nails it. But for Burton to nail like three or four big moments and like a lot of people are like, oh, it was just a catch and pass. You know how much pressure you're under? Mm. Like you're, you've got the states, fucking everyone on your shoulders. You know the moment's about to happen. You know you're about to get jammed, but just to like the soft hands. We see that stuffed up every week at club, every week. And you got this young guy. Yeah, what, it's always tournament? behind and front. 100%. All the time. It was perfect. It yeah. was literally like, he just had to run like that and it landed in his hands. Tall. And um, yeah, and even the pickup. No, one, I don't feel like people are talking about the pickup from the club. kick. Yeah, I know. Yeah, fucking yeah. crazy yeah. that yeah. kick up, pick, uh, pick up. And he's, he's what, 6'2? I was about to say that as a big fucking boy getting down. Fucking he's hell. He's huge. He's a big boy. Picked it up, still then beat Ponga. Went yep. over. Like 100%. Just... Had to pick it up, step Ponga, try. Then the bomb. That, that honestly. Well, a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of them. But that, that, that main one. The main one was fucking. Probably absurd. hyperbolic, but that to me, memory wise, maybe I'm forgetting, but memory wise is the craziest bomb I've seen in Origin. I think well, it's, the, it's, the the biggest, ever, it's the right? biggest kick I've ever seen. It was fucking my crazy. And maybe we're forgetting some great torpies from Lockie or Joey or whatever, but that was a torpy slash floater slash fucking whatever it was. It was, it was, it just went and went and went. And like to think to- To allow him like, bruh. Yeah, just let it go. Just just fuck they, go. Said, they said that it, it kissed God. <clears throat> it did. Kissed, it, it went it in touched, it, it went within it, him. It, it went in him. It, it went, eventually it touched his went, sack. No, it went in him. I went in, inside yeah, God. It, like it went, it went, it went, it went, it, it, it grazed, it grazed the sack <laughs> and then went within. Kissed the door. And Kissed then, the door. Back down. Because you know how it, it like disappeared? You're like, where's yeah. it gone? It was within, it, it was, was inside, inside God, God and then it came back out. Holy shit. Yeah. It was in the air for- Six days. It's still in the air te technically, but it broke the speed, sound, light barriers, all that kind of stuff. Mm. It was fucking absurd. But like, think about that. That was, I think it was like 42 or three seconds into the first half, his first big bomb. That, that, that was his first bomb in origin. And that's what he delivered, like to your was point Was that earlier. also a good tactical thing of just like, the, not kicking it all and then just adding that, it's like- Yeah, sets the tone, up. sets the tone. It's actually Get like, this shit every Smithy likes to do it with, like the number nine, like he always, Cam Smith always really liked number nines to kick early, to like set the tone and remind the defense like, oh, there there's, there's an option here. Yeah. Mm. Smart by Freddie to go first kick, give it to Burton. Cause now the whole time everyone's wigging out, is Burton gonna kick? But like to, to your point earlier, like think about the, you've already had two big moments. And then the third moment is this bomb that everyone has been talking about all week. All you can see, Burton bomb, Burton bomb, Burton bomb. He doesn't nail it. He kicks the best bomb of his life. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? That's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. crazy. That's yeah. fucking, how many times do we see great players come in in their first game and they have a bit of a not, not great game or they have a couple of errors. He had like pretty much no errors outside. I think one pass went 
But that was, I didn't even know that was his fault. Outside of that, he was flawless. If you were just, even if you, and it's not like a knock on them, but you look at Stags and Crichton's first games in Origin yeah. starting and you're like, they're two great players mm. who just had nowhere near the same effect that Burton had. 100%. 100%. You even look at like some of the great, like Hodjo, Justin Hodges, his Origin was a Barry Crocker. And then he went on to be one of our best outside backs. I think even Lockie had a bit of a quiet or a poor debut. So it's not easy. Like it really isn't as easy as people think. He just makes it look easy. Yeah, he made it look very easy. And he was super calm. Like he was never just, looked under the pump. No, he didn't look under the pump at all. He didn't look rattled. He didn't no. look frazzled. He handled and the contact really well as well. Like him giving that pass to Tyler back to what you were saying earlier. Like we had an overlap there. Uh, Felicia gone off. Mm. So we had to score. Mm. We needed fucking points. We were down at, the, at that stage and just wasn't frazzled. Just so calm and collected he like perfect perfect like, perfect pass so I, it's one of the great debuts honestly like yeah. i don't know if it's it's the best but it's fuck man it's up there it's seriously up there yeah from center he had a try assist to try and a bunch of bombs that like we dropped mm. like from center that's what he did impacting the game pretty incredible we love to say bombs of consequence and of consequence. he's a six like he's playing out of position yeah, yeah. i know he played there like for a year incredible man he's special it's going to be interesting to see what the doggies do I, we spoke about this on Monday, but I think the doggies do keep him. Like, especially well, they've got to open their wallets. Oh, fucking oath they do. They've got to open them How up. How much would you pay them, honestly? 800 Yeah, I reckon about 800 Yeah, about uh, right. But, I mean, wouldn't, couldn't, couldn't now Big Wayno up there in Dolphins land just be like, well, we need someone so fucking badly that mm. we can just blow the Bulldogs out of the <coughs> way? They don't get months you, know you, you, start, you start talking big money for them, I reckon. Well, the that's what I mean. Mm. They won't get months. I don't think they'll get months. You know what would be interesting mm. is like... Reach out, Brace. Burton being like the next... <laughs> Rich out, still hasn't reached out. No. Hates money, clearly. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, you know what is interesting? would be interesting. And look, I got no evidence. I don't know what if it's true or not true. But like, I wonder whether the Bennett charm would work on the next generation. You know what I mean? Like Burton is young and he's like New South Wilder, like hasn't had much contact with Bennett. Would it be as dramatic as him talking to? Do you know what I'm saying? It's sort I of think, like how kids these days don't sort of get how good Eminem was. Wally Lewis, for example. Wally Lewis. You know what I mean? It's like Eminem was a good rapper and now yeah. these young kids aren't getting horny from Eminem. Yeah, they're like, like oh, he's cringe. Shit. Oh, he's just some fucking. Yeah. yeah. So Wayne Bennett being Eminem. Is Not Matt Eminem. Burton, is Matt Burton listening to Lose Yourself or Stan? Well, I think he d would listen to Lose Yourself, but okay. it, it is interesting to think, like, would he be as swayed by the Bennett magic? Well, put it this way. <laughs> he was swayed to leave Penrith to go to the Dogs because of Trent Barrett. Mm. Like that's why he went there. Yeah, that's yeah. why he left. So he's obviously more of a more of a, a contemporary rapper. Well, yeah, you know, maybe like Kendrick or something. Maybe Kendrick Lamar. Well, maybe but that's... see, I don't even know if he's Kendrick. Maybe well, he's like, because so, he's, he's, trying... not, he's not. He's not proven. So maybe he's like the Island Boys. Oof. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, Chris <laughs> kind of got Look. the same one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's I know what fuck. you mean. I still think that <laughs> the great Trent Barrett. I'm just the pushing, but I think that people are <laughs> pushing. <laughs> Even if he hasn't had much to do with Wayne, the advice you'd be getting from people around him, yeah, surely would yeah. be like, and you just got to look over and go, <coughs> Don't want the island look boys. what he's done. Mm. Don't stand. And look what the island boys have done, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a genuine question. Like, I wonder whether that next generation is as awed. Like, for example, like, I'm being serious here, like, I think of the young generation, would they look to Wiley Lewis in awe like our parents did? No, it's, definitely not. No, you, know, you, know, no. you know what I'm definitely saying? Not. And it's, so it's like, it's, I wonder whether that's definitely not that's going to be a factor in wayne trying to get the next i guess the but difference the, is with the wally lewis thing is like you either saw him play or you didn't and mm. even if you watch highlights it's just not the same thing yeah whereas wayne's been doing the damn thing like he's wayne still is still doing the thing yeah. that wayne's revered for yeah, so true. it's slightly different but i mean like i also get it like i could see how the younger generation maybe would be more horny for your bellamy's well, and your trent robinson yeah. as a coach yeah well wayne just wayne, wayne took south to the grand final last year yeah so it's, it's not like it, exactly. It's, it's not like, like got, he isn't fucking. He hasn't. He's not on the scrap heap. Yeah, like he's still sure. out there doing the damn thing. So mm. that would be a, a small difference. Yeah, it'd be interesting though because don't they start negotiating or they start sitting down relatively soon? Well, I reckon doggies after are, November. But he, he needs to know. He needs to know the Bulldogs coach is. That's what he. Yeah, he come out and said basically he signed there to go to Trent. And and to be clear, we know Wally Lewis is a great. We're just using an example. Um, no, we don't. <laughs> Never seen uh, <laughs> so yeah with Burton yeah you're right like they if I'm doggies I would have already been speaking like I would have already been here's your offer mate like but now go. after that you'd be going 
we, we, yeah, sure, we can maybe jack it up a little bit. Like, yeah. But the, you're going to have to, right? Oh, He's now sure. an origin player. Yeah. Who's and a good one, f- too. And a good one. Yeah. Like, it, it is what it is, mate. I think if you can get him in, in the sevens somewhere, I think you've done pretty fucking oh, well. If you can get him in the sevens, that's a massive win. I, I, I honestly think the scary thing for the dogs is if they're forced to pay a million. Because mm, of market that's pressure. Too much. That's what too I'm saying. Much. I'm not saying he's worth that. I'm saying market pressure creates that <laughs> environment where let's say yeah. let's say Munster turns around to Bennett and says, mate, sorry, not going. Bennett goes, Fuck me, I'm getting desperate now for a half. And he throws a million dollars at Burton. Mm. And and all of a sudden Bulldog's like, Oh fuck. That's a fucking dream scenario for you know, Burton. Oh. He'd be calling he'd be calling Munster going, Working well, under Wayne? It? Yeah. From million million bucks. Bro. Yeah. What do you got there, Matty? Do you reckon because the doggy signed Burton for unders and before his career kicked off and they knew that he was going to be a gun and gave him that player option. Like, do you reckon they might have planned for this already? Yeah, it's like what I said on Monday. I think after the year where he killed it at the Dally M Centre, they, they're like, I don't think cre- uh, clubs get enough credit for how deeply they research stats, statistic, like so much goes into it. Um, I think as soon as he started playing really well and was looking like they were going to win a premiership, they started preparing the salary cap for that third year. Or that one. Third year. Second. He's been there a year. So, yeah. No, but they're they're discussing the third year. Yeah, yeah. So, I reckon that they, because most salary caps are like literally planned like five years in advance, sometimes Mm. even 10 years in advance. They try anyway. So, yeah, Matty, it's a great point. Like, I reckon they would have already been preparing. Plus, I also think that, that Gus Gould, he's ruthless enough, you know, unfortunately, and it sucks, but they'd be willing to move on a few players for him. And I don't think there's enough players with enough clout. Clout's the wrong word. Enough big dogs. Runs on the board. Yeah, at the Bulldogs to be able to kind of, like, hold your ground on that thing. Mm. As well as it's a benefit because, like, let's say they just need – let's say he's on 500K. Let's say they just need 300 grand. That All they need to move on – let's say there's a player on 300 grand right now at the Doggies. Him finding another club is actually easier than a guy on 800 grand because all he needs to do is find another club that's willing to pay 150 grand, which is a bargain to that club because they're getting him for 150 because the Bulldogs will pay the, you know, the difference or whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah, really interesting. I, I personally think he stays. I think Gus Gould has enough pull. I think the Laundy Group, uh, shout out Laundy Group, they're at the Locker Room Hotel outside our core stadium. Make sure to get down there. That's where we had the live show. It was a fantastic live show. Yeah, great the time. Laundy Group is massive and like, Big clubs, when you look at like their backing, if they have massive backers like that, it's just so helpful because it just gives you stability. Mm. Um, and so that will help as well because of all the connections they'll have. So Kick out and Marnie coming as well <coughs> is like, you can't- Oh, under- Marnie to Burton? Dude, that. that's, I mean, it's it's a huge carrot mm. and you'll get to play a season with him as well. <coughs> mm. You know, but it, it, I think what- He it, doesn't need to re-sign anyway. Like he can still I've, be fucking around next yeah. year, can't he? See another guy. From what I've read, it's gonna come down to who's coaching them. And who the fuck knows? We mm. don't seem to be any closer to anyone that hasn't got a coach to getting a coach. Yeah. Sorrello's well, we Nabra the Tigers. Nabra the Tigers. So we're no closer. One of the great public Nabra. I, I don't know why the Tigers time. keep doing this. Bro. Why do they, they keep are, coming public with everything? They're like your mate who keeps getting rejected. And you're like, dude, you need to change your approach. At this point, the common denominator in all this shit is you. Yeah. I, I just don't get why it's they go the girls, public. Mate. It's not the girls, yeah. it's not your players, it's not the coach, it's you. I just don't know why they go public with it. Why don't because they just Because they're say, desperate. But like, how does it Can't help the Can't you be desperate in privately? In privately, yes, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like the rest be, of us. You can beg for a route behind closed doors. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Have some yeah. class and dignity. Yeah. Beg, get on your knees behind closed doors. No, they don't. That public <laughs> affection shit doesn't work. <laughs> Never. You know, like when you hop up in the school ground on the table and professional. Only works life. for Heath Ledger. That's yeah, exactly. it. That's he's the only man. Shit, yeah, but he's the only bloke that ever pulled. But, only but bloke. Tigers don't have leading man good looks. They're not rom com Heath Ledger good looks. Like they're the fucking ugly friend in this thing. It's like you're not going to be able to jump on a table and get the hottest bird in town. It's just not going to happen. It'll be crickets. Literally crickets yeah. after you start stop singing. Yeah. You're just too good to be true. You hear this big. No, yeah, exactly. Someone someone He's that young kid in Crazy Stupid Love who wants to get the, the older nannies, girl, yeah. the nanny, and no, never gets just, up. It's just not going to happen. Gets a nude at the end. Sorato might be like, "He's a nude," but yeah, I'm not like, coaching. Sorato sent him a couple of nudes just to well, make Well, I think maybe to soften the blow. Sorry, yeah. I can't come, but here's a picture of my dick. Yeah, and they were like, "You know what? Fair play." Because Sora, because uh, Soraldo, who is the the nanny in this situation, the wants the older guy. Who's the older guy? Maybe the older guys feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Serrano wants that doggy's gig. Ho, 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 ho. Maybe. Get, Do you know what I mean? Get back with Burton, his boy Burton. Well, because then he's back with his boy Burton and he likes to look at that side. He likes to look at the back end. Get a stability coming, there. Reed. You know what I mean? 
I tell you what, the, the doggies after their last couple of wins, if they can keep doing this, they're looking very appealing because they're on the up. Like they truly are on the up now. And like, they've got two fucking legit players coming yeah. next year, and yeah. you're getting a, a sick nine, mm. which is going to help Burton a lot. Hundred, oh, massively. It's going to help the whole side. I feel it. Jerry Marshall King has improved a lot, but I, I just think Reed's probably just a little bit. Just a little bit better, but Marshall King's definitely He's improving. a lot better. No disrespect to... Like, he's an origin quality. Nine. Yeah, yeah. Ma- I, probably like, not there. Marshall King has improved and a lot. He's, he's definitely f- improved. Yeah, yeah. Definitely no, improved. I'm feeling you. I'm and kick out is a fucking oh. beast, he, bro. He, he's, every time he runs the ball, there's a problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, every time he fucking runs the ball, he skittles defenders. It's fucking mental. Um, but, yeah, we want to talk smaller. quickly about... So, Bulldogs put up a... Uh, so Burton's bomb, we all just yep. saw how incredible it was, something we've never seen before, beautiful, beautiful, all that kind of stuff. NRL Bulldogs put up a post tagging NFL at NFL where you at with a video of Burton doing the bomb. Now, are you wanting? Are you asking to get your key player signed by the by NFL? The NFL? <laughs> Who have the deepest pockets on the, on the planet? Yeah, they can literally pay him more than your best... Offer. They pay him a million dollars. It means nothing to them. No, like it's like yeah, because you're that, like in a tr- you're in like a fucking seventy man training squad at the yeah. start of the year, and that's it's of like money. it's like putting up a picture of like your missus and being like Michael Pitt, Michael B at? Jordan, where you at? Yeah, he's hot. He's, he hot, as, he's hot as they come. That, he that is teeth, as that smile. Hot as they come. It's like and he's like I'm right here, baby, and you're like oh shit. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, and it's go like, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your address? Then you give it to him, and then he rocks up, and yeah. And then you're like, oh, well, now get the other hooks out. And then I you're just, a cuck, and you go, oh shit. I was just doing it for likes on the gram, yeah. Michael B. Jordan. I didn't actually want you to come and, you know. Ha- okay, can I ask you tell this? Tell you what, your missus is happy though. Can I ask you Which this? Which is, you know, happy wife, happy life kind of stuff. He'd never talk about it. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> but once you start down that cuck path, mm. there's no return. On there's the no road return. To cuck, nah, dude. And once you know, some people might like it. Because you were like, once well, yeah, you're a cuck, you're some always people once a cuck, you're always a cuck. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've always said that. That's what they say. <laughs> now, I want to ask you a question of you both. <laughs> Phil Gould reads this, you know, a day later. Oh. What's he do? And Phil Gould is What's he a do? man about town on social media. He sees his shit. I'll tell you his first reaction. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 Sack no. Sack that cunt. <laughs> have Who they kept the it up or have they taken it down? <laughs> it's still there. Um... Look, it's, I tell you what, you're playing chicken. You've got a lot of balls on you. You've got a big set of balls on you. Or, you we know. should just be tagging the NFL in every Matt Burton highlight from here on in. <laughs> or NFL, where you at? <laughs> just keep tagging them. Because it's like, oh, yeah, we need – like because they could the NFL could look at like this. Young hot throbber in Australia. We spend a million dollars. It's just a million dollars worth of marketing in Australia for NFL. Yeah. We're trying to grow the game there. We chuck him on as a kicker because he's clearly got a fucking boot on him. We're laughing. We're like, good to go. We're literally, he cannot affect the, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like another signing where he's like a wide running receiver, uh, wide receiver or whatever, that can kind of like, if you put him in, affects the game that much. He's just a fucking, just got a big boot on him. You wonder, because his kick is like, it's, just a punter. it's, it's, I genuinely We've never seen, seen anything like kick. it. No, like you've never seen a big, yeah. and it's just like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. We'll just take you. Yeah. And as if you're Matt Burton, obviously you've got shit you want to do in the NRL, but you've already won a premiership. You're about to win a fucking origin. <coughs> and so you just go, Don't know about that. okay, now I might go and get paid fucking a couple of mil in the NFL. Go down. Team. Go down quickly. Boot the shit out of oh, it. So that, I don't know if I'd be taking the NFL. <laughs> the great guru. But like, at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're playing with fire. And yeah, maybe it's unlikely, but is the juice worth the squeeze for 60 comments? I don't, I don't know if it is. I really <laughs> you know don't what know I mean? if it is. It's like, is 60 moving the needle? Listen, Eddie, it's about engagement, you know? It's just about engagement. Hey, tell you, tell you what, we're talking about their page right now. Go follow the NRL Bulldogs. Well, NRL underscore Bulldogs. You know what? Go. Bulldogs are a step ahead. Yeah, they, they are. are. Maybe they are. They're, They're a step fast ahead. Guy in the room. They realise that this would get talked about. The Bulldogs now get promoted, and they they've already signed Burton up for another few years, so he can't break contract. But he could. Um, have you seen where the most petty man alive, Drake? So someone left a comment on Drake's post or something, and it was like, "Is he as petty as Kelly Slater?" Or Tom well, Petty? You tell me. You tell me. Well, Kelly's pretty petty. I'm about to tell you. You tell me. Okay. Um, so someone said like your music shit or something along those lines. Anyway, so Drake literally went and followed that dude's wife and then I think like slid, into, her DM. slid, in, slid into her DMs or something and was like, what's up? And fucked her. I don't no, know about that last bit. I don't bit. know if he did the last So you know what I'm talking about? I know the one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just because some dude commented like- But as like if you're Drake, I, w- I would probably do that a bit if I was Drake and then you had people talking shit. You're like, I think that would be a very satisfying way. Obviously you're so not going to do it. But you just go on like, Okay, motherfucker. I would never do it, but it's funny to watch. I reckon I might if it was some really? guys. I because it's you're, not, you're not going to act on it. You're just going. You reckon Drake wouldn't act on it? I'm not saying that. I'm saying I wouldn't. Young Drizzy? 
I'm saying I wouldn't. YMC NBA? If Young I money, cash money? was doing it, I wouldn't be acting on it, but I'd definitely like it. We're talking about Drizzy, who absolutely bodied Meek Mill. And he said, is that a, is that a world tour or your girls tour? You reckon he wouldn't sleep with the chick? I don't know enough about Drake's lyrics to be able to go with you on this one. Sorry. Okay, sorry, bro. I only know like Kiki. <laughs> you got rhythm, bro. Yeah, Fuck thanks. Well, you, are rhythm. You, you, are you are rhythm. You are rhythm. Yeah, I am rhythm. Mm. I am rhythm. What do you reckon would be more interesting, me and Eddie talking about parenthood or you talking about hip hop? Oh, you two on parenthood. I mean, my, my hip hop my hip hop sort of knowledge. That hap's kind of hip hop. Run DMC. Well, this is very manly. See, Run DMP. Do you know Run DMP. Run DMP. Most common soon. Listen, I think that it's probably the baby podcast. I'd like to see you guys at number one. Yeah. It's a dream of mine. You know, at you know number what, one it is actually the, pretty fucking For the funny. pregnancy podcast, for the parenthood podcast. It's a dream of mine. Yeah. Obviously, I equity, but that's, that's about all I know. No, no, but you declined equity. No, I said I'll take it, equity. It's, on, it's literally on record. No, I said I'll take equity. No, you said, said no. I wasn't. He said no. It. No equity. It's 50 50 me and Eddie. Sorry, bro. You said no. You said no. no. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's throw, let's throw Maddie his equity. Yeah, Maddie can have it now. You got equity now, Maddie. Maddie, I'm taking <laughs> that number one bro. health and beauty or health I'm and taking health that and equity. Maddie, I'm taking that equity. Sorry, dude. <laughs> You've got to wrestle for it. Yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> um, so look, at Michael B. Jordan, at Drake, at NFL, run the risk. Run the risk. Yeah. Living dangerously, that's for sure. Um, now, uh, Fox Talking Points, International Edition. Oh, anything else about the game that stood out for you boys? Seriously? Origin. Mm. You know, I, I don't uh, think he's getting enough credit for this series. I thought he was good in game one for you, and he was really good game two. I think Jerome Luai has been good, like really good. Yeah, he's been great. Two tries this game one. Try, try assist, I think, game two. Yep. Our, I think he's been good. Our back three oh, fucked fuck. you up. Yeah. You're right. Ran for like 750 metres. I think it was like 220 post-contact metres. Had like 30 tackle breaks nearly between three of them. Yeah. I think we ran for more post-contact metres than your back three ran for metres. That's correct, Daddy. That's <coughs> correct. Is it? Yep. I don't know if that's true. No, that is true. You guys uh, did fucking absolutely nothing. I think nothing. it's true. There, to be honest, I think there were certain people who were trying to work so out PCMs, whether your back three played. 71, 100, 70. To um, so what, 240? I'll look at it. Yeah, you know what? You might be right. No, we are right. Oh, actually, so what? It's 200. And Kiki, do you love me? 232. And then Selwyn 64 would be about... 290, close. 290, would you say 290? Close. And then 170, so 172. And then, oh, no, nah, just short, but still. Nah, pretty, pretty close. close. About 250 up. post-contact metres. That's fucking close, though. That's scary. <laughs> it's pretty shit. close. That's hectic. That's, po that's PCMs. No, that's PCMs. It's, it's almost like it's almost like 10. One PCM metre is like five normal metres. Maybe Correct. even 10. I think 10. Seriously. Um, so technically you the back three where they get a fucking they just trucking up that's now. what they was so a hard for Queensland mm. what was so hard for Queensland is every time your back three ran the ball you would bend our line and we couldn't no matter how much we shot out and tried to hit you you were so hard to tackle Brian Toto oh, oh my is god is one of the great line benders of all time seriously is he the best ball running outside back we've seen bro probably like because I know Blake Ferguson had a great year where he ran for a bunch of meters but He's so strong. Told like, does it every. He does. Every this is year. yeah. This is his second year now where he is. Think about this. Like he he's ran for two hundred sixty one meters, one hundred one post contact, nine tackle breaks, and two line breaks, two offloads in an Origin game. That's fucking crazy from the wing. And our kicking game was so elite that you were often coming from way like super yeah. deep out of your own half, or like Ponga was catching a lot of them and falling over. Yeah, a lot of those Burton bombs. The big fucking, or the, or the Nathan Knuckle. Like yeah. he'd catch and fall over yeah. and then, you know, yeah, it's well, hard to get up yeah, and rip and tear then. 100%. Like, I, again, I don't, I don't think Toto's getting enough reps to, to run for 261 metres, a try, nine tackle breaks, two line breaks as a, as a winger. Mm. That's one of the fucking great winger knocks, seriously. And he does it all the time. Yeah, he literally does it every game. Like, so game one, he had, he might have been 10 tackle breaks game one. I think he had back-to-back 200-meter -back Yeah, games. yeah, so 207 meters, eight tackle breaks, 76 PCMs, uh, five tackles, zero misses. Fuck, man. Rock solid. Rock solid. That's great. And then New last last year, he was fucking just as good. Fuck, we love yeah. that. Yeah, New South Wales spirit. We love um, it. Thoughts on the Appy, Cor uh, Appy Cook situation? What do you think? Do you think it worked, didn't work, or? It didn't not work. Mm. Which is a fair point. Like, it's a good, like, it wasn't crazy, mm. but it also did not one by work. Lock. It wouldn't, you didn't watch it and go, fuck, this isn't working. Yeah, that's well, for like sure. Well, like, you're hearing the yarn about, like, when people are talking about our center, center selections to the next game, it's like, well, you could just have uh, Whiten as the 14. 
which to me is like, oh, okay, so one of either Cook or Coruscant's going there. But I liked, mm. I liked seeing Appy go there. Like, how many tackles did he make? He made thirty-five tackles or some shit. I, like, I, what I liked and he about he was only his, on the field for half a what half an hour. Yeah, about thirty minutes. What what I liked about Appy's role is it was truly just to take the bun out of the game. Like he, he was on there for thirty and just tackled his dick off. So he, in thirty-four minutes, he had twenty-three tackles, only one missed. Um, because, like, if, if you're going by that, so 34 minutes, you're looking at, like, nearly 50 tackles, 50. That's a shit. You know, for if you were there the yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I didn't mind it. It's just tough now because how do you fit White on the bench? Who, who would you play at centre? As a New South Wales fan, and let's assume Trell comes out, plays solidly, just solidly. I don't know White and drop Crichton. Trell out. You'd ha- he he plays man. solidly, but yes, not so- spectacularly. But he looks fit, healthy, gets through a bunch of work. He doesn't kill it, but he gets through a bunch of work, plays solidly. So his fitness is not a question. Personally, honestly, I'd pick Latrell. Mm. Personally. Yeah. But, I, but I'm not going to be upset if they don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I understand it. He's underdone. He hasn't played a whole lot of footy. But, like, if you want... If you want a motherfucker to do something when the chips are down, oh. you know, he can create out of nothing. And I just – that X factor there would – In Suncorp too, I feel like you're going to need, like, a special moment. And I'm not saying you can't it's do gonna it. Because it's going to be – it's like, rea- realistically, it's not going to be like that. I don't game think, two is not going to be game three. I don't no. think Crichton is playing game three. Yeah. I, I, it's that's, between that's Trell. Solid. He's been I pretty, pretty solid. fucking yeah, solid. Yeah, I think he's been okay. Yeah, he's been right. I mean, he, but he also <coughs> let the fucking Mr. Tackle for the months to try, which in origin, <coughs> it's, it's like those moments count more than they might mm. in the sense of like, going, yeah, he's been solid, but that try, that led to yeah, a try. I, I, if you're like, picking between White and who was man of the match for New South Wales game one. I think like the, the tough thing is Crichton's the type of player that's going to take him a little bit to warm into that role. Mm. Like, I, I see what you mean, though. But I'm like, saying game three decider. Like, yeah, out of all. saying you won't ever yeah. play again, but, like... Yeah, yeah, no, I can see that point. I, I feel yeah. a bit I feel a bit for Crichton because, like, he hasn't been terrible by any stretch, mm. um, but he's just been put in positions where Burton and Whiten have played so fucking good. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a really tough one. It's With Whiten playing so good game one... I, I don't know what you do. Do you could would you guys be open? So let's say I, I don't think you should take Cook or Appy out of the squad. I think you should keep him. What you did game two? Would you consider Whiten swapped in for Talakai, or do you think that's too small on the bench? Mm, he didn't play much, did he, Talakai? He played about seventeen minutes, three tackles, uh, and thirty-three runs, four runs. I'm not anti it. Mm. Not anti it, but I do like having a bit of thickness squared in mm. the side or cubed, to be specific. What well, the concern the would be is, is like if a front row goes down, like head knock, injury, mm. or whatever, then you basically you've got to move probably Crichton into the centre and then bring on White and maybe on an edge. Mm. Look, it's tough. I, I, don't, I don't envy this sort of selection oh, headache. Fuck. I think Whiten goes in. Answer it. I think Whiten goes in. Phone call mid show. I got fucking roasted last week. A phone call mid-show. The unprofessional. Get over it, bro. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Far out. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, look, I I wouldn't be shocked, honestly, if Freddie went Burton and Whiten. Yeah, neither would I. If I had to guess. And I then everything's the same. Crichton if gone, I had man. to guess, I think that's what he'll do. Mm. Uh, I want to also shout out Junior Paolo. Uh, Paul, uh, Paolo. I keep getting it wrong. Like I keep saying Bolo, but I think it's Paolo. So, Sorry. I keep re-watching. They put a thing on uh, Eel's Instagram of how to say all of their Polynesian names and that. I, I saved it and I keep re-watching it. And how are you going with it? Are you getting closer? Getting close. Well, how are you going with it? You say it. Paolo. No, I don't think so. Paolo. <laughs> Paolo. Paolo. You know what? Let's watch Paolo. it. Paolo. Let's watch it. Um, and get it right. Let's watch it and get they it right. They are tough. Let's, if it's not yet. Well, because you're pronouncing vowels differently to a way yeah. you do well, normally. Yeah, exactly, right? It's, it's like an it? accent thing as yeah. well, right? Like For sure. Yeah. Here we go. If I was saying it the way I You're not trying to be just Paul. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking... Uh-huh. Which isn't, you know. Jack. My name is Benson. Hey, my name is William Benson. Benson. My name is Benson. Benson. My name is Benson. Paolo. 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 Is it... Is, is it is that just sort of like Paulo with uh, Paolo. an accent though? Like, is that sort of like Paulo? It's like how Paulo. Yeah, I think so. Paulo. 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 Anyway, I'll keep, we'll keep working on it, guys. We'll keep working on it. We'll do our best. Um, also, I got some dribbler was like, you f- I fucking nailed all the Fijian names last week." You did nail it. You're you're good at um, reading. Oh, you names. did. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Spent some time there, buddy. Paying dividends. <clears throat> did you really? 
Fijian. I, I know. I can know my Fijian words because remember when there was like. Uh, did you there spend was, time there? Yeah, you get, that was like where I go on holidays as a as a young pup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is there wrong going on fucking holidays? Oh, I just you didn't. Wrong with I didn't used to go on much holidays, but anyway. Oh, didn't you? No, well, I, you, I didn't you say anything. Could now? Yeah. You go on a fucking few now, couldn't you? <laughs> no way. Dedicated. <laughs> dedicated to the fun in the drill. Strutting around in here, bloody. Uh, IPO. Did you like what? Every three months you went on holiday, like overseas, or? Uh, every three months. No, well, school wouldn't allow that. But, but surely um, you had pull to like. Yeah. Nah, look, there was no point doing it because obviously studies came first. Not for you, you dropped out, but like <laughs> studies came first in my household. But look, dropping out hasn't hampered you. You are now worth like fucking 80 million. And you're like, oh, I drive, my drive around this shit car. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. But we know though, right? We know. Damn. We know. That rhetoric hurts you, eh? Stings a little bit. Well, no, I found it ironic, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long were you in Fiji for? Like, what were you in Fiji for? As in, obviously holidays, but how long have you been there for to know the words? Well, so I would go there all the time growing up. But so the way that uh, there was the Fiji and we are for the Crusaders, I think his last name was, it, like the way it was read was Vunibaka. Mm. And they, I would, they would always like, it's like there's certain where words or there's certain like sounds where there's like a letter before something. So like V-U-N-I-B-A-K-A. Vunibaka is Vunimbaka, like this, or Takiri. Kevin Nangama. Like Takiri is actually Tungiri. Oh, okay. I believe. I believe. Okay. Do your own research. But so I like to, uh, I can't nail much, but I think I nailed it. Well, you good the other day. Nice. That was fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denon's worth 40 million. <laughs> this random number. Just this random number. It's 50. Yeah. It's 50? It's, it's fucking not, hell. Listen, I would love to see that. It's not that random, though. It's random, oh, but it's not that random. Fuck off. As yeah. if. Oh, I just see my bloke hoodie every day. You don't know what's underneath that hoodie, I'll tell you. <laughs> Diamonds. <laughs> Diamonds. <laughs> Diamonds are a big oh, best friend. Fuck. What is really under it is the Mad Dog Money. Mad Dog Munster. That's what's under it. Yeah, one of one, that thing's worth 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually, because he's such a fucking legend. Yep. But he gave it to me for free, because yep. we're mates. Yep. Um, yeah, okay, what were we up to? Fox with the, what were we up to? What were talking we talking points. about? Talking points, Fox oh, talking, we're talking about points. Origin uh, and, and Junior playing. I thought that was one of Junior's best um, Origin games. I thought he was massive for you guys. They were saying, can't remember where I heard it, that the, um, the the direction from Freddie must have been to tell Junior, it's just a truck nut, bro. Yeah, truck nut. Yeah. Don't try and offload it. Don't try to play the ball. Just no. fucking chuck oomph, that thing. Dude, we and need oomph. Fucking brawl. Sometimes oomph. you need oomph, Tom, in your life. In fact, a lot of the time you need oomph. Well, in he's your an oomph based selection. Well, he's all oomph. So if you come out there and you start trying to throw offloads, you're going well, away from what you were selected he for. He plays that role at club. So it is tough for him. Like he does ball gotta, play yeah, a lot but of Yeah, you've got to hit oomph first. I yeah, think yeah, here sure. at Junior Paul, Polo. Look around, bro. You've got oomph first. you got ball players out the ass in this squad. Mm. So you go and be the oomph. We you know you can fucking ball oomph. Him mm. running over KP like that was hectic. Oh, yeah. I loved it. Didn't like, you love that? I loved it. it. What? I didn't love it. But didn't you Respect love that? Respect to KP it. though. That's fucking brave as shit. Mm. Yeah, well. Junior Paul, yeah. it's Paul embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, you're just sucking him off for doing his job, which is cool. I get it. It's Queensland. He just, you know, you make the tackle. How impressive that kid tried to make oh, a tackle. Yeah, fucking fucking, impressive. Yeah, I mean, how about Ponga, right? Fucking trying to make a tackle in origin. You, most mm. Queensland, oh, most Queenslanders, you would have seen him just, they would have just yeah, rolled over and copped it. Rolled over. Teddy would have gone like this. Oh, I slipped over. Let Teddy, you hearing this shit, Teddy? You hearing this shit? I, I KP, you, fucking, you hearing this shit? This guy's you, calling you soft. I hope you clip this thing up next time Kempi comes in here and We're not calling Ponga soft. All we're saying interview. is, <laughs> all he was doing was doing his job. <laughs> The difference between me and Tom is Tom is actually spiteful. He calls people out. What are you talking about? I don't call anyone out. <laughs> you hear this DSDCE? You hear this, Teddy? Well, I'm just saying, you're the one saying it. You're the one saying it, not me. I'm here supporting rugby league and oh, rugby league yeah, players yeah. and origin and the concept and your idea of fucking shitting on the Teddy. Concept. <laughs> the concept. Here for the concept. Where would you, where would you, seriously, where would you rate Teddy in origin pl like players? Because I honestly have him up there as one of the best origin players, at least of the last generation like put it this way skip oh, he's he would right up there almost he's an all-time he yeah, origin for new south wales he would probably make my all-time side mate like i know mini is incredible no and, and maybe uh, and maybe yeah, there's mini some other good. people mini was good but teddy would put it this way new south wales all-time 17 teddy makes it for me what, yep. do, what do you reckon i'd have to, i'd have teddy in the one i think <clears throat> i think i skip. probably would have teddy in there um I wouldn't necessarily have him as skipper, Eddie, but... No, I'm saying our skip oh, at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't be skipper. Do you no. think he gets appreciated, uh, though, for how consistent... Kirk Gidley off the bench. 
Correct. Do you think he gets enough appreciation though, Teddy, for how good? Like he he to I those, saying to those that know what they're talking about, he gets all the pra- he gets mm. like a fuckload of praise. To the layman, probably not as much because like, a rugby lot of the stuff that he does isn't like super tangible. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, just so much effort. Yeah, wow. like you got to go like to the rugby league fan, not to the fan, to the rugby league like either former player or people who played a shitload of rugby league, like they, you sort of get, you you can appreciate it a bit more. Or there are things, the as you say, like the effort plays and mm. things that, whereas I'm potentially looking at, you know, tries. tackles broken, tries. But like, know. I feel like he does that, but I think he's more of a victim of like, he's so consistent that you just expect it. Well, that as well. He's, yeah. he's exactly, he's like a nine and a half, 10 out of Constantly. 10. Constantly. Like I'm trying to think of a bad origin game that he's played. And he's so safe. A hundred percent. Like so, so safe. Every game, he's like minimum nearly 200 meters. I'd love to, maybe could you, could you just get his stats up for origin? Just so that we can see like week in, uh, year in, year out what he does. I, yeah, I, I personally believe like, like, for example, last year, Tom Trevojevic, Lachelle, easily the two best players of the series. Teddy was fucking amazing last mm. year. In any other year, he wins player of the series. What do you got there? What'd you say? Averages 200 meters a game? I honestly reckon he averages 200 meters a game in origin. 195. There you go. Far out. In origin. He in origin. averages. He averages 195. So he's played he's played 18 games, 28 points, 13 try assists, 13 line break assists, 195 metres a game, 20 he's runs He's played 18 game. games of origin. Fuck According to this, yeah. Could, that's this, what I'm, I don't know if this is up to the that last seems game, like but a yeah. Lot. That's, that's what I mean, though. Like, I don't think he gets enough, like, put into the greats chat. Right. He debuted in 2016, right. game three. He was almost the best player on the field and, and yeah, has been a 9 debut. out of 10 ever since. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Like when you talk about origin greats, I don't think Teddy gets talked about, but he fucking has the brunt. Like, look at his stats. Tell me any other player that has stats like that. Five in tackle origin. breaks a game too. Five tackle breaks a game average in origin. Yeah, in origin. Absurd. Horny. And so I think it's time. Like, let's put Love it this way. Skip. If Teddy, if, if New South Wales go up and do win this decider, oh. Then you have to put Teddy in all to- like in the all-time great chat. For oh, yeah. sure. Oh, fuck For yeah. sure. For sure. Skip leads us up there and fucking gets the chockies. Oof. But do you is are you picking up what I'm putting down? Do you feel that he- I'm feeling I'm you. feeling yeah. you, dude. Okay. I'm feeling what you. Are you. What do you reckon, Matty? Am I'm I off the head here or what? No, nah, no, I actually had this discussion recently. The part he's definitely from what I've seen, the best New South Wales fullback. And he'd be there's a lot been a lot of good players, but he'd almost be in my top ten. I tell you what, pisses me off. Anyway. I know people are trying to sell papers. I get that. I know you're in the paper selling business, but to imply at the start of every Origin series that, oh, should we replace Tedesco oh, with Vogue Pabernauz? No offense to you, Pab, but like, let's be fair, Income. What are you on about? But that's what I mean, though. Like, think about it. Tell me anyone that will be talking about, like, oh, should Cam Smith get replaced or Billy Slater get replaced? Like, I know when he got injured that one year, but outside of that, in, in his peak of his career, no one was saying Billy Slater should get replaced. But every year, Teddy gets questioned, and you're like, he's an all-time great for New South Wales. Yeah, dribblers, dude. You know what I mean? But I, it's and I think be- there's like a shitload of like, you know, you've got Tommy winning Dally M fullback, like Dally M and he's playing fullback. Like you, you've got these it's really other we've good got players. Two other we've like got elite so guys who are also good players, yeah. but it's like New South Wales is stacked yeah, in the fullback stacked department. In the fucking oath, though. But no, in no way should Teddy be missing out. No way, no way. But yeah, I reckon he deserves to be talked about in the all, especially if you win this series. I think he puts himself in that all-time great territory. And I, I also think that if he continues on this trajectory and Roosters come back and you know win a premiership or two, you've got to you've got to make the case that he challenges Billy Slater for all time. If he continues this, not yet, but I think that you'd have to make the case that Teddy. How old is he? 27, I think. Oh, he's young. He's not. I think he's 27, 28. But I, I think he's he's, he's in, 20, 29. 29. So I think he's in the realms of could end up being a top three fullback of all time. Yep. He's not. He's not. He's not near. Not. He's. I don't think he's close to Slater yet. He's been on a trajectory that's very good. But Slater was just a fucking another level. You At least. It, yeah. Yeah. I still mm. think so. You don't reckon it'd be reasonable to to oh, yeah, challenge him? I don't think it depends. It depends what it, depends what, like what it looks like yeah. when it's all said and done. At mm. the moment, like if you put their careers together, I, just, I don't think that he's. No, well, it's Teddy. Moment, Teddy has won. I think more pre- like as many premierships as Billy had won by this stage. If you take away the salary cap ones, I actually think he might have won more by this stage because he's he's what he's won two so far. If I think he's got to win another premiership or two to, to challenge Billy. Um, but I definitely, I think that if you had him in your top three all-time fullbacks, I w- and c- if consistency was a key indicator, like if you were looking at one-off seasons and that. You couldn't have him top three all-time now. 
Um, or are you? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. Uh, what I'm saying is, I wouldn't be. Ag- I wouldn't be like that's a fucking stupid, crazy take. I wouldn't be that against it. If right. someone wanted to you say, entertain it. Yeah, I wouldn't be like that's fucking mental. Whereas if you said like, I don't know. Um, oh fuck, I don't know who else I would say, but I just don't reckon Teddy gets enough respect for how well he plays. So Billy was 29, same age as uh, Teddy in 2012 when Storm won that premiership for a comparison. Okay, so he was 29 in 2012. Well, he's 39 now, so yeah. So he won, he'd won. So that was his first. That was his first. Well, third or first, however, however, however you look, you look at, it. at it. Salary yeah. cap, well, third. third. Um, yeah, interesting. And then so obviously then, then they won 2017. 17, yep. So two more. Um, yeah, interesting. Really interesting. But yeah, if he keeps on this trajectory, I think he's... At least top five. Always, I, I'd say he's surely New South Wales' best ever fullback. Mm. Yeah, yeah, fucking oath he is. And yeah. you could argue... Well, there's no top three then? It's him and many. Well, well yeah, I here. guess so. It, like, it's... I guess maybe just when you're still playing, it's different. It's yeah, it's tough to say. Tough to say. And there's a good argument, and this includes Jared Hayne, that he's been our best Blues player since Joey. Yeah. When you think about it, well, who else has been better? Turbo potentially just in the short few games he's yeah. played. Yeah, I, I consistent like as in I'm not saying that he's not consistent, but like just because he's had so many injuries, it's hard. Tommy's a really hard one to place because he hasn't really played like. No, played Paul Gallon was consistent. Yeah, he was fucking yeah. for a Gallen. long time. Gallen's, yeah, that was pretty yeah. fucking good. Uh, anyway, just just thought I'd uh, just let us know what you think in the comment section. Where do you rate Teddy at the moment? Uh, now, on to, uh, did you guys get a chance to watch some of the international games? I did. Yep. Uh, Kiwi cement themselves World Cup favourites with Australia. That's This is Fox Sports talking points, guys. Uh, so the Kiwis cement themselves as World Cup favourites with Australia. Australia is at uh, $1.36 uh, to win. New Zealand's at $7.25. That's, that's value. value. That's value. That's value. Mate, them that's being 75 cents in. shorter than England is fucking absurd. Yeah. I don't know who that set that your, market. Those odds are England at $8 hair. is a joke. They should be Dude, like seventy five cents better. more than England. That's crazy. Oh, less than England. Like you've lost your fucking mind. I'd be listen. If you're a punting person, I'd be gobbling up New Zealand at seven twenty five. Yeah, that it's is possible. value. I will that say, and I agree with you all, but I reckon they're that short because it's their home World Cup. Australia are that short? No, no, England. England. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So but what? I, I just I don't know. Like they're England, no they're no good. No, England, no, I agree. I'm just saying that's yeah. probably why. I can see your point though. Like England, you're away from home. It, you know, it's it is it is a long World Cup, um, and they did. They were they made the grand final of last World Cup as yeah, well. Yeah, they only lost by four. So yeah, I can kind of see that. I personally would have them probably in between Tonga and Samoa. Maybe even yeah, in between Tonga and Samoa. Maybe even. If Samoa get all their players back, I would even have maybe Samoa just in front of them. Like Samoa, when you look at their squad of who they could have if they chose to play for their heritage or whatever, it's a hectic side, like crazy side. Um, but interesting. So anyway, where do you guys see New Zealand? Did you what, what did you see on the weekend? Do you think this is one of the better New Zealand squads we've seen in a very long time? Mate, with Jerome Hughes at seven and then dual bags at six mm. and Joey Marno at one. It's fucking cheese nice and nine. cheese at nine. Like that's a fucking nice spine. Fucking oath. And you need a conductor and Jerome Hughes at seven. I'm like, it just, it takes him to another level. Mm. I think mm. they're fucking red hot, mate. Mm. Very, very 400 good. meters. Joey Manu is unbelievable. 400 meters. He's that so is, silky, mate. Fuck. And he's massive and strong he's too. Fucking huge. Big, strong and hot. Big How strong tall is he? Is he 6'3", 6'4"? 6'4", and a pinch, mate. Six, Are you in 6'6"? Six, six? Six, Are we giving him 6'6"? Six, six? I'll give him 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> I'll give him 6'6". Six, six. After the six, weekend, eight. he's 6'6". Six, six. You round up to these things. Seven foot's not out of reach. Like, they... Like, we were, we were going on and on and on and on and on about the Tongan side going in, and mm. rightly so, but New Zealand were like, bruh. Listen, who's, you're not, you're who's not, the you're not on our level. Who's the mm. Tongan coach? Uh, Christian Wolf, I think. Christian Wolf. Has, has he, he got, has he got a homology issue? No, I think he wasn't there, though. I think they were being coached by someone else. I think well, that Christian makes Wolf sense because if it was Christian, I know he wouldn't have left Olakowatu on the bench until the 50th minute when the game was already gone because that, to me, as a person who's never coached rugby league professionally, is the dumbest decision maybe in the history of rugby league. I don't know how he wasn't starting. You, well, that too. That too, two dumb decisions. The fullback rower of the entire competition yeah. can't get a fucking lightning start. Lightning struck twice, and it was a lightning bolt of stupidity. <laughs> um, it, w- it does show you the importance of the spine, like, which is why I like. I think New Zealand are yeah, fucking valued seven twenty five, given that their spine is elite. It's just a, it's just a matter of now New Zealand living up to the hype. Like had, that, that seems to be their Achilles heel. Where they go into these World Cups sometimes with a bunch of hype. You look at their squad, and you're like, wow, and they just 
just don't seem to to put it all together. Um, in saying that, they've what they won two thousand eight World Cup, two thousand and thirteen or twelve, twelve. They've won two World Cups. They won two, they? two World Cups. So actually, you know what? Yeah. Uh, they won wow. 08 World Cup and yeah. they won the Four Nations in 2014. Oh, okay. okay. And maybe 2009. But yeah, there, there has been times where they've been really hyped up, this crazy spine, and they just didn't seem to deliver. Whereas I, I think that this is this is a chance for them to, with Michael Maguire as coach, who was a very kind of old school, tough, defensive coach. And a lot of their rhetoric has been around, we want to be the best defensive side in the World Cup. I like that rhetoric from New Zealand. Like, mm-hmm. if they're coming out with that kind of mindset, because their attack will – no New Zealand side ever has ever had to struggle to score points. Like, they can always be – like, they're always the best attacking players in New mm. Zealand side. Well, up there with the best. It's just about um, making sure the defence is strong. And it was strong on the weekend. It was strong on the weekend. So, very exciting times in New Zealand. Very exciting times. Um, now, uh, another young gun, Panzer Shine, Sunia Taru- Taruva. Taruva. Um, be interesting to see so he sunia i think it's sunia apologies if i'm getting that wrong bro um but it'd be interesting to see when he debuts because he's like behind critter he's behind who was Edwards, he playing for stains uh he was playing for fiji was he their fullback yeah yeah he was a fucking gun yeah dude. yeah and he's, he's like third or fourth all line didn't like, they said in the broadcast that they've told um charlie stains he can look mm-hmm. for another club because mm-hmm. they want to keep this fella mm-hmm. and he just resigned too i think and he's on the extended bench this week horny oh, oh, wow. but he's on the extended bench yeah Wow, congratulations. Earned it. He was fucking amazing. I didn't realise Charlie Stanes was Samoan either. Neither did I. Neither did I. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that uh, Samoa side, if they can get all of their players, it's a beast side, beast side. Because um, Luai can play for them. Mm. So if you get... Because Luai, Critter, To'o, To'o said he wants Stains. to play for Australia, I'm pretty sure. Did he? I think so. Do your own research, but yeah, I'm pretty I sure think he, he said. I think he said he's still unsure. But could you Google that for us? I'm pretty sure he's still on. Yeah, well, I just Clarky put up some this morning with all the eligibility. And for Samoa, out of all the origin teams who could play for Samoa, you got Toto, Crichton, Luai, Haas, Baolo, Nanai, Tino, Papali'i, and Tulangi. Fucking hell. That's crazy. So, yeah, really interesting times. Really interesting times. Now, Matt Lodge, rumoured to have signed with the Roosters that came out last night. I was I was going to post about it, but it wasn't confirmed by anyone yet. Um, thoughts on the Lodge to the Roosters? I mean, seems like a fucking good signing for them, doesn't it? Mm. Seems like a... F- exactly. He's like... I still want to know what the fuck happened. At oh, place. mate. Seriously. You know what I mean? What could happen so bad that you get paid out not a even in that full year? Full 700 the, whack. The next it, year as well. It, it's, it plays on my mind from time to <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. What you the fuck up. happened there? You sit up and out of bed. You know, it'll man. catch you. It'll I need to get the mayo man on it. woman that's just... No, I'm laying there like thinking with about Matt Lodge. Lodge. Yeah. We, uh, we need to get the mayo man onto it. Buzz. Dude, no one's fucking said Bo fucking peep about this. No. Roosters, good pickup for 100k. Thanks for coming. I nice. thought they had Bolster to pay a minimum squad. of 20 grand a game for the remainder of the season. So that's like market. I thought it was like a couple of hundred, nah, 250 or something. that seems too much. Well, no, because it's like you're paying a, a percentage value. of the value. Yeah. So like it, it was a, again, a it, game stopped clubs, fucking, it stops clubs from going. It's like well, 10 more rounds, 200 grand. Yeah, that's what they're saying. You it stopped Para it. signing for Leal yeah. or Far- or someone for a minimum of years You can't pay unders for the play. So they're saying that's what his value is over the course of like a whole year. So you're going to, for the remaining games of the season, you've got to pay him like, it was like 200 or 250 they've got to pay him. Again, on top of your seven, mm. fucking Matt Lodge is the highest paid player in rugby league. He's killing it. <laughs> Made a lot so of a million cash. dollars a year. Pretty much. Wow. Um, he, he's actually, uh, uh, he's kind of like what they need at the moment too. Just another big front rower, just to bring a bit of energy in the middle. Starch. Um, which is scary because, again, I, I still think Roosters starch. are a side that can. Um, Shout out to Starch. Shout out to Starch. Shout out to Starch. What is it different to Oomph? Yes. Starch, yeah. Oomph is a bit more go forward. Starch is Jake in the okay. middle. Fucking, you're not getting through me. You're getting no PCMs against Starch. Okay, so no. it's a defensive kind of. Yeah. It's like defense version of Oomph. Yeah. Yes, starch it's is just, like the presence anti, in the middle. You know? okay. Anti PCM. What? What? If you've got hundred percent of Star- starch, yeah, starch yeah. is the kryptonite to PCM. Well, but you know when they say what happens when an unstable force meets yeah. an oomph and starch. What happens when oomph meets starch? Yeah. no one knows. No one knows. Fucking hell! Interesting. Interesting. That, I think they 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 like. It's well, that's like what they're black doing. Black hole territory in the well, universe that's what folds the in on itself. Quantum physics kind of. That's shit. what they're doing in the large hydrogen collider. 
Start. Oh, so start to start. Start. Oomph and start. Yeah. Oh, See what happens. Um, now, Rabbitohs recruitment continues. Uh, Cook has come out and said, I want to finish my career here and I feel like I could play until 35 or 36. I'd love three years and I'd call it quits after that just so I could finish with South Sydney. Sounds loyal. Sounds like he wants to mm. stay. Do you know what happens usually when sh- when South players come out and say they want to stay? They fuck them off. So I was, I'd be I, was, at- I was about to say, is this Blake asking for the three-year deal and he's in his 30s? Yeah, Cook to the Dolphins. He couldn't possibly be asking for three-year. Cook to the Broncos? Year. You don't have a hooker, do you? Uh, well, Billy Walters is doing all right. all right, but look. Cook, Billy's been going okay. I you can link it up. I mean, he's no Australian New South Wales representative. So no, he's sprint champion. Look, I don't think there's a hope in hell that Cook gets a three-year deal. No. He's in his 30s. He won't get a two-year deal. No, he won't. He won't. Well, he'll he get offered one, and then they'll go, but then <clears> you're fucking off. You, you get a one-year deal with a three-year uh, club option. Yeah. Oh, the old three-year club option. Actually, you know what? A 10-year club option. They'll throw the 10-year club option. Yeah. They'll say, yeah, yeah, we might do it. Yeah. Just we might. see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. He's not just in his 30s. He's 31 now, and the deal would start in 24. So he'd be 32 and a half. I'm so 33 when it starts. If they, he, if they give it to him, like... That'll officially just... Now, I think they want to sign Cody until he's 43, so they'll probably let him go and re-up Cody. Clubs should start point. offering, like, just 10-year club options. Just like, you signed an 11-year deal, but it's a 10 years club option. So like, is it's like you can help out in the canteen and shit, like, yeah. once you're Well, but, like, a 10-year option where you just don't have to take it up. Like, yeah, yeah, we'll give you an 11-year deal, but 10 of oh, it is yeah, club option. Oh, yeah, 10 of it's in our We just don't take favor. it up. <laughs> what so we're offering you 11 years. Yeah, 11 we years. Say no, we offered him an 11-year deal. He's clearly not loyal. Yeah. And we send you a letter every year. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I was going to say, just like in all seriousness, he, he, the point of the article was that Cook said he didn't really start playing regular first grade till he's 25. Mm. So that will give him years, extra years at the end of his career. <clears throat> I don't know if that's how it works. That's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how aging works. I don't think if you start playing first grade at 30, you can play to your 45. No. I don't know. Strange well, are you telling me that technically if we were to get in shape, Eddie, you and I could be playing to a 50... Five sixty. That's what I'm hearing based on, based on cook maths. Yeah, do you reckon they should well, start no, signing sixty year olds for real cheap because yeah. they can play their seventy? Exactly. And you they've can already get, you can get, get, them, get them for a deal. Yeah. Well, oh, you, hang on. Are you eighty and you haven't started playing first grade footy? Well, you'll you play one hundred and five. Fucking eighty years. You've already got your life savings. You don't need a big contract. That's no, actually right. genius from South. Yeah, and from Cookie. Only debut people when they're thirty years old. Yeah. Because they can play to their 40. Dude, I love it. I only started on 25. Let's sell, so that, let's like sell our, our best players. Or don't even sell them. Just fuck them off. And then let's set, let's start signing like guys are like 50 years old. Yeah. Because we'll save a bit of coin. But then they can play to like 75. Because so they so. haven't played in footy. Yeah. They haven't played in footy. Yeah. Um, genius. Genius stuff. It is interesting. So it's coming up quite early. So what, is he available to talk to other clubs now uh, at the end of this year? Yeah, yeah. Um, look, interesting. Really, really interesting to see what happens at Rabbitohs because uh, if they lose another big fish, ooh, that'd be tough. That'd be tough. Um, other NRL news. Fittler said he was sitting wait before deciding on centres. I think we already discussed that. Uh, no well, I'd, be, I'd be shocked if he didn't. <laughs> yeah, <that'd laughs> you know what weird. I mean? He's naming the time, side Sorry, tomorrow. just to circle back for one quick second. Cook, Luttrell and Cody all off contract. For 2024. Let them all go. And Luttrell is on like unders compared to what he can get elsewhere. So it's going to be interesting come to the table with Trell. We can't yeah. say they're necessarily going to have for you, Cook. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting well, didn't, they, didn't Wasn't wasn't Cody Walker chosen over, over Reynolds? Uh, yes. Mm. By the coach, Dimitro? Yep. Is that what's his can name? Can confirm. Now, uh, Ponga is in a certainty for game three. He's had two head knocks in three weeks. That is uh, alarming for Queensland because he's been really good the first two games. Uh, Seraldo expected to re-sign for the Panthers for another year. Smart move. Christian Wolf reportedly knocks back the Warriors deal to coach. Uh, to Kosh, it says. To Kosh, yeah. Well. To Kosh. Is that to Koshy? Koshy? Yeah, Koshy. Breakfast show? He, he gave the job to Koshy. Get out of here. Koshy will be signed Or does he it. knock it back to become the next Koshy? <laughs> or are they just doing a job swap? Job so, Koshy now, Warriors coach. It's, it's like a new season of Job Swap, job swap Australia. <laughs> yeah. Koshy goes to Warriors coach and Christian Wolf now hosting with Mel. <laughs> It's a must watch television. I'd watch it. Fucking so, earth. I'd watch it. I don't know who Christian Wolf is, but like I'd watch it. <laughs> He's a Tongan coach. Uh, Again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now on to the games. Manly v Storm. Could you just go back up really quickly? I thought I saw something there. Oh, Jazz Tavanga saying the Warriors is going to thump the Tigers. I, I let that go. But yeah, I yeah. thought you did. Yeah. And I just want to say this. 
I'd love for the Warriors to thump the Tigers. Mm. I also love that Jazz has come out and said this, one of the great names in rugby league, because you know what? It's a bit of fucking interesting speak from a player rather than just like, yeah, they're coaching good, training in the house down there. It's like, no, we're going to thump them. Do I agree? I like that he's put a T in front of hump as well. Well, I think that was, you know. Well, thumping and humping are cousins. Yeah. Yeah. In the the, the word world. Mm. I see this going either two ways. We're talking about it about even before. What's that? Honey shovel time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How's for YouTube? Um, (laughs) (laughs) I was saying that the Warriors in front of their people back at Mount Smart Stadium surely get a big W. But then Tom was pointing out that fairy tales don't always always happen. Remember Tony Radonica's like memorial game? I packed out heaving Leichhardt Stadium. HD light, sun was shining. The boys go out there and roll out the worst performance in the history of the club. So you never know. Look, fairy honestly, tales don't always happen. I think fairy tales happening because like they're playing for so much. The Warriors are playing for if they can't get up for this game. I see him getting pumped thirteen plus. I know that's bad. I know really? I see him getting. I fun. I see Warriors winning thirteen plus. Yeah, that's I see the, Warriors that's winning. Narrative though, right? That's your heart. What your heart wants? Yeah, it's what my heart wants. What is yeah. your head? Think? Yeah, Tigers are struggling though lately. You got to remember the yeah, Tigers. No, the, and the Tigers are shit. The Tigers are shit, but so are the Warriors, and that's my thing. I'm like, that's why I can. I, but maybe, I'm they, but maybe they've been them, homesick. Like, you guys suck. They've been homesick. They've yearned for home. And were they no. really that good before they left New Zealand? I don't think so. And that's no disrespect, but it's the kind of truth. Uh, I think they come out and fucking rip and tear. I hope tear. so. I rip hope and so. tear. Eighty of the best. It'll be that. It'll be the following weeks. You know, trying right to get that energy back up. And Whereas, shout out to Jazz for coming out and speaking his mind. I love it. Oh, that's great stuff. Great Large, stuff. Yeah, good on Jazz. Good on. And Jazz. also shout out to one of the great names. One of the great names. Fucking uh, love that name. <clears throat> now, talk about uh, humpings oh, and thumpings. Manly versus Storm. Fuck Alloy out. One of the didn't great rugby league humpings of our day. Fuck me dead, alloy out. God, how second, got to do a job. Do you guys second back, big, thick, big and thick? Do you guys reckon that um, the game will be over before twenty minutes or forty minutes? As in, we'll be Manly up by like humping. what twenty points, thirty points? Did yeah. you see? There's like, no way Munster's playing. Munster's out. It took a curse. It took a curse <laughs> for a top four side or top three side yeah. in the Cowboys yeah. to get the Chockies against Manly. Mm. A curse. Yeah. Has a curse been lifted? The curse doesn't apply to this fixture. Oh. <laughs> There's too much history there. Okay. You know what the curse does what? in a fixture like this? Yeah. Gets the popcorn, gets the esky full of blokes, sits back and watches the magic. <laughs> mm. It doesn't need a fucking okay. play. Where do I need to send the blokes for the curse? To our place. Send them to... So the, you, you, you are responsible for the curse then? We know. No, no, we just... we Look, firstly, just feel like we are... <laughs> Yeah, it would be nice to have some bloke in the office, but also... <laughs> there's, some, there's plenty of cases just there, bro. Oh, Eddie can carry that. Um, <laughs> do I have to hire someone to carry it for it as well? Maddie can that's do That's what it. Maddie's for. He can walk it over. <laughs> <laughs> walk it over. <laughs> or he can sit on your handlebars or your fucking your e-bike or whatever you use. Uh, but yeah, because I'm a battler and I don't have a good car. Yeah, I'm a battler. yeah, 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 battler. Kempi owns e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> Munster's not playing. Pappy should be playing. I don't think you can justify two weeks out with COVID these days. Uh, not in this climate. So <laughs> Manly's going to pump you. Manly's going to pump you. Beat them, bust them. That's our custom. Go, Go Manly. Manly. Turn on the radio. What do you hear? Manly's going to win this year. We're going to beat them, bash them. That's our custom. <laughs> Go, Manly. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Holy oh shit. God. We're going to bust um, them. Oh, fuck me. Look, unfortunately, I think this is going to be one of the great rugby league humping. <laughs> fuck no off. Hey, dude, at Fortress Brookvale, it's a fortress for a reason, bro. That fortress was killage. We haven't was, lost there this year. Fortress we haven't lost, we no, haven't we haven't lost, lost there this year. Oh, okay, okay. Walk me through why you haven't What do you lost. mean? What? That didn't count, That's mate. a fucking curse-based loss. This doesn't count. 14 points in fucking Seven five minutes. minutes. That's... Read a book. Yeah, it's an anomaly, dude. That doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, I think we're in for a good old-fashioned humping, thumping, all of that good stuff. Uh, I think Jerome Hughes come out, put on an absolute clinic. Uh, I think Harry Grant, he's looking hot. His hair is wavy. It's all surfy. Mm, good to I go. Saw, he, I, he, he was goes, dejected. No, he go. He loves. I saw, I saw a kid going, I'm not up to no. it the other night. That's <laughs> what I saw. Not he goes to, to beach areas and plays his best footy because he's a surfy kind of bloke. He feels at home. He, he knows the vibe, the feel of his beach town. 
and he gets the job done. Man of the match, Harry Grant. No, no I don't think so. The kid loves surfing, loves waves, and he knows that if he's going to get a fucking wave on the beaches, he's <laughs> going to have to roll morning. over. Let us get a W. He's going to get flogged in the surf yeah, next morning if they win. The if he he's, wins, yeah. If he wins, he'll get flogged. No, but he won't win. But also, like, you know, if you want to get accepted on the beaches, you've got to surf Desi's hair. And if you haven't done that, then you're not a real surfer on the beaches. So, I mean, you can have a crack at that, but he's going to get flogged. Get off our wave, bro. Wow. So if they lose, are we putting this up to the fact that Harry Grant was scared of getting bashed out in the surf the next day? Certainly something to do I with. think that if, yes, if they win. Mm. Don't go surfing, bro. He's just going to, he wouldn't have bought his board. Yeah, okay. if he did. Stay out of the know. water? Stay, Stay out of the water. Grommet. Yeah. Kook. Kook. Fuck kook. Grom. <laughs> so anyway, this, is this a kook base win? No, they won't win. Manly a kook, for you guys, kook base win. We call it whatever you want. It's going to be a win, a win of substance. Um, I'm, I think it's going to be a substant, a some substantive thrashing uh, by the storm. Titans, not Knights. Titans. Who we got here, boys? Pong are out. <clears throat> Big out. Daniel Sio, Fidi, and Brad Mabesta are in the reserves. They can be. I don't know if you knew that, but they are. If Fida returns from injury, I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Yeah. He's on the uh, he's on the bench. He's yep. a 17 jersey, I believe. Anyone else listed on the reserves, Ed? Yeah, Proctor and Thompson are also listed among the reserves. Really? So with that information, <laughs> knowing what we now know, <laughs> I think we can safely say that this is going to be a pile of poo. Yeah, it's going to be a pile of poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I don't know about this game, this bro. Thing's a, so. This thing's an outhouse. <laughs> this is outhouse footy. This is outhouse. This is a this drop is, hole. This is drop hole rugby yeah, league. This is drop hole rugby league. This is, <laughs> this is try not to sit on the seat. See if you yeah. can, if you've got the quad strength to just sort of brace over the bowl and do yeah. that. Otherwise, you're going to need to lay some toilet paper down because this thing's fucking gross. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Who you reckon wins this poo fight? Who's I think him Titans, Titans sling the match. Well, the it's poo. about who it's about who can throw the most poo. And <laughs> David Fafita has got, you know, you got poo throwing in him. Mm. I, reckon he can get a, I reckon he can get a fair bit more back over the fence. <laughs> I think he'll score a try just quietly. <laughs> Titans will win in a a dull affair. Ponga is like a really hot, high quality piece of poo. So like the fact that he's out mm. is not good. Look, I think Bo Firma going in into camp. Match. Bo Firma going into camp. That'll make him confident with the poo slinging. I think Firma's got a fair poo sling in him. Did, was Firma in camp? Yeah, with Queensland. Yeah. So you reckon that's like helped his slinging? Yeah, I reckon the boys got to him and said, look, in a poo slinging match, this is how you get the job done. This is how you sling poo. Who's the best slinger you've ever seen? Oh, fuck. Up close. Up close. <laughs> <laughs> um, mate, that's a tough one. Mm. Best poo slinger. <laughs> look. I, I honestly don't know. I couldn't tell you. There's been a fair few poo slingers, myself included. Well, when the included. game's down and when it's a, a gritty, shitty poo slinging game, who's, who's <laughs> who stands up to sling it? Yeah, oh, I've slung a bit of poo in my time. <laughs> so you're putting yourself, you yourself top, number one top slinger, top slinger all the time? Yeah, we, I don't know, top slinger all the time, but I've slung, <laughs> slung a bit of poo in my time and some pretty poor outings by both teams, mm. all right. including myself. Yeah, so, the bloke that scores the four pointer to win the game four nil. It's yeah. a poo-slinging king. The 16th He's minute. the king of the poo-slingers. Yeah. Yeah. Poo-slinging king. The poo-slinging king. <laughs> Campy. <laughs> Self-appointed. Yeah. <laughs> Self-anointed. Um, look, I think... Oh, man, this is a really this is actually a really tough one. I think Titans get the job done. Seems like you made that decision pretty easily. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Panthers versus Roosters. Origin Stars are backing up for Panthers. Taruva is on the extended bench. Kiri rested again. Radley returns. Origin Stars to back up for Roosters, including Collins, who suffered a head knock. How do you see this match going? Are we... And I, I wish all the best for Luke Kiri. Mm. I worry, though, about these head knocks. It's 100%. Absolutely. He's had many, many <clears throat> head knocks now. Many, many. 100%. I... Um, I, would, I just want him to do whatever is best for him. Like, yeah. I don't know whether it's a concern or it's not a concern in his life, but if it is, like, there's so much more after footy. Like, Roosters have a good track record of yeah. handling it right, so I'm sure they're doing whatever it is. Yeah. Like, good point. They good also point. They always talk about, like, I think Boyd even said when he was going through it, like, he actually didn't fucking enjoy everyone talking about it. Like, it sort of made it harder to deal with. So I'm always a bit like, whatever, brah, you take your time. Do what you need to do. I like that all the Panthers' origin stars are backing up. You assume it's just going to be a bit of a humping. I think they're right. Radley returning is good for the Roosters, but I just the Roosters aren't that good, so I see a bit of a humping. 
Do you think, like, a Panthers, let's say they go into another grand final or, you know, they win a premiership back-to-back or whatever, like, are they getting into the territory of one of the most dominant sides of the modern era rugby league? Yes. They'd go very close with Manly, decade of dominance, (laughs) Storm. They're fucking good, mate. That's what I mean. Like, I know they haven't had the longevity. good. But they are humping teams into submission. I think it's also like, yeah, it's not, they don't have longevity, but it's just like they're... Two seasons or three seasons yeah. of just fucking utter dominance. Utter I just, dominance. I, I cannot see the Roosters hanging with them for 80 minutes. No. Like maybe the first 20 yeah. they'll have a crack and then I just think the gaps will open up and they'll fall away. I just mm. I just can't see it any other way. And the Roosters, <coughs> I bought in at the start of the season. I would listen every week to Matty Johns and Cooper Cronk shoot the shit. And now they've stopped doing it. Back. What they've the stopped doing it. On? There's a fucking, there's a short ball from the gods, baby. There's a short ball from the gods and you, you're saying no to it. Doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Bring it back. But he would always talk about the Roosters and turn things around. And it's, you know, we used to turn things around, ran five or six or 10 or whatever. It hasn't happened. Mm. And I'm now off the, the train. Off. I'm, I'm off the Roosters train of them turning it around. I don't think they will. No, mm. they're fucked. Thank you, Tom. What happens when? What happens like Roosters when they make the eight and Manly don't? They won't. Manly yeah. so making what, the eight. So what's going to happen is okay. Roosters are already out of the eight. Yeah, we were supposed to be in the eight, albeit for a curse. That's by the by. Dragons fall out. Obviously, Manly go in, and Manly finish. And slipstream sort of works. So we are behind the Roosters now, but as they are coming down, where then we start to pull out to the side. And we start to engage. Get into our work. Mm, yeah. Engage the legs. What's the, uh, what's, I guess, what's your response to, there's been a lot of calls that you are actually responsible for the curse. Thoughts? Well, they tried to say that with New South Wales as well and we came and humped you 13 plus. So I think that's just losers who yeah. don't get rugby league. And that, okay. I mean that respectfully. Yeah, losers okay. will always be losers. Okay. So. Losers lose. <laughs> so Winners win. Who's responsible for the curse then? Uh, listen, it's the black jersey. We know that. And Let's I'm not, not gonna... forget what Tom and I did for the club last year, Dan, and if I may remind you, four mm. losses on the trot, no one believed, not a man in the country believed. Even the players were starting to <laughs> unbelieve. Mm. <laughs> we got them believing again. Yep. Yeah. Turbo goes on the great run of all time, wins the Dally M in a fucking canter with like the least amount of games ever played. We are a refereeing decision away from making the grand final. And I think if we get there winning the ring, that's all the back off the back of us. Yeah. So don't come in here after a couple of tough losses and try to fucking hate this <laughs> curse shit on us. No, not Because I'm not here for it. No. Okay. I, no I one's didn't up say more for the club than Tom and I. Just the punter and the dribbler have been, the, it's getting louder. Yeah, but they're not the, Manly fans who are saying that, I tell okay. you. It's fucking dribblers who don't get their rugby league football. Manly Let's, fans, Manly fans like, will come up to us and say, like, thank you for everything you've done. Yeah, we get praised. Let us know in the comments section, guys. Are Hello Sport responsible for Manly's current curse? Also, and are we responsible the week we released the jersey? is we fucking hump coins at the end of the earth <laughs> and one of the, the yeah. best performances of all time. And um, also between- Because we have to be responsible for both. Yeah, well, both tr- both can be true. Between 15 and 50 million, how much can be worth? <laughs> 15 to 50 million. <laughs> He's hung up on it, eh? I'm just- I tell you what, don't ever talk about Tommy's car. He'll fucking- I'm just, I'm coming in corporate. <laughs> it'll, <laughs> it'll stew on it for a few how weeks. How much is he worth? <laughs> How much is he worth? What's he got? Mate, I'm just Don't a, ever talk about his car. Don't bro. talk about his car, <laughs> bro. Don't talk about his car. He's Beamer. Mate, I'm coming back to Don't you. Don't talk about I'm that. Coming back. <laughs> Holy shit. He's just running around in his head all 15, day long. Fucking can't be talking about a fucking 50. car. <laughs> what are we thinking? Holy. What are we wow. thinking? Um. <laughs> Fly. 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 I know, I know the fucking. Cause there's a keg over there. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Panthers. I think get the win. Uh, Bulldogs v the Sharks. This is actually really interesting because doggies have been looking pretty fucking red doggies. hot. Doggies. Going doggies. Fucking oath, cunt. Whoa. Yeah, I'm going wow. the doggies. That's bold. Into Burton to score a try. Oh, you are. He's hot. He's hot right Dude, now. Dude, when a Dabo boy does well, I'm just like, I can't fucking look away. Actually, did you see the post? I think I say yo posted. Um, who would have thought two boys from Dubbo? And I was like, "Fucking Dubbo." Who would have thought? Two boys. Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Brief. I mean, like, if you include yourself mm. in like their uprising. Yep. Four boys from Dubbo. Yep. Is that correct? That would be well, three. three. Well, three. <laughs> but you technically you were there for a while, weren't you? I've never Dubbo. No. Okay. No, Where were you? Bathurst. Barrel. 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 But where did you go to uni or some shit? Bathurst. Bathurst. Not Dubbo. Okay. It'd be like. Him and it'd be like Ryan. David Peachy, Andrew Ryan. 
Matt Burton, Isaiah, uh, Edward yeah, Simpson. Simpson. Edward you Simpson. Know, yeah. Something like that. You should um, Photoshop. You know, like in, in Bondi, where they've got the uh, all the captains <laughs> of the Roosters painted on that wall. It's like there should be something dubbed of all the great Devonians, and it's just like all those guys, and then you just in there, as well. a mural of sorts. That'll be oh god! Um, yeah, doggies versus sharks. Oh, this is a tough one. I think this is going to be a f- cracking game. I'm going to go sharks. I think sharks. Doggies, bro. Shark. Fucking oath. Uh, shark, shark, shark. They've got. They've found something, mate. They've found their mojo. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. Yep. I like Karaz. I think this is a mojo Karaz game. Karaz is gun. Karaz is good. Brings a bunch of energy. Karaz Young hot good. boy. Um, yeah. Lit, we were saying lit up Corey Allen, like lit up an older boy after a game. Was it true? Was it not like on the field where it was like they were having a bit of uh, like just terse words where you're like, oh, okay. Well, they both put up posts saying it wasn't true. I thought the thing that wasn't true was like the bullshit of them like being in the sheds and like yeah. having to be separated and stuff or from the training. Yeah. I thought well, it was like after the game, you know, sometimes after the game, everyone's fucking stoked. Mm. Well, like not stoked. After a loss, people aren't like super yeah. sad. Yeah. It's interesting though, like just like making a story up. Like they blew up at each other in the dressing rooms, and it's like they're both like, "No, we didn't." What the hell? Um, yeah, but I mean, I also, if I'm playing Mayo advocate, yeah, Mayo advocate, advocate for the Mayo, advocate for the Mayo. Yeah. Which you know, whilst we can laugh at Mayo and sniff it when it's a bit off, <laughs> Mayo is central to rugby league. Yeah, and if I'm playing advocate for Mayo, you are. I would you have a chicken sandwich without mayo? Well, it? but I could say I could make <laughs> the rugby the league is a chicken sandwich. But I could make the argument right that of course you're going to come out and deny that because mm. why wouldn't you? Yeah, but then it's just kind of like, well, fuck, you can say anything and then say, yeah, of course you deny that. It's like you know, Tom has a fucking fourth leg, and you go, no, I don't. We're like, yeah, of course you'd say that. Well, yes and no. If there's like in rugby of league, course when you'd there's say that. smoke, there's fire sometimes. Of course you'd say that. Why? Because you would say that. But I've got, no, see, that doesn't. Because so you're trying no, to prove your point. You're trying to defend yourself. Of course you'd say that. Well, no, I've got no skin in the game. So it's not like I would be, I don't care if I've got a your fourth ego. leg or not. But your he's, ego. but he's. Ego's about fourth leg. I could be proud of that fourth leg. That's what I'm saying. But if I'm saying I don't have it, then it wouldn't have anything to do with ego. But you, you, what I'm saying is, is like, you could, any time you say this claim and the person says no, Put it you go, do you yeah, think, they have to say that. Do you think that it was completely made up? Like, if you look at the buzz that pokey thing with the Tigers, right? Mm. The story was true, but they lied about the time that they were there. I'm not, and I'm again, this is an, I am devil's advocate for Mayo, but if he's saying they had a blow up. They didn't deny that though. Right, well, so then what's the fucking, what's the Mayo? They had a blow up. You brought the, the But you're thing saying up. they didn't deny it. I'm saying if they didn't deny it, what's the, what but, was the Mayo part that they, I thought like that they had a disagreement and it's all good. No, no, the, the pokies one, like th- that's a different situation because the players didn't come out and deny it. The, this time the players both put screenshots up and said this never happened. Mm. What, like why would they need to even defend it? Like if, if, it, if, if it did like, you know, get a bit heated in the changing room. Like the, I just think it's, it's strange how we're just so quick to be like, oh, they, of course they'd say that. When it's like, well, then you're just putting players in a position where any time they deny anything, you just go, yeah, of course they'd say that. And you just don't believe them. But that's, that's Who's where more close to the truth? Devil's advocate for Mayo comes in. Mm. I'm not saying they did or they didn't, but I'm well, saying put it this way. When you're advocating you, Who's for more Mayo, likely to tell the lie? The person, I think it would depend. Like if, you, if they had a real set to, then I think that there's every chance that you would lie. But about like that. how many times have we seen the media make things up? Completely. How many times have you seen a player like make things up? Yeah, the... Like the media it's the, more well, the likely players, it's the more likely the media made it up yeah so like it's just automatically like yeah well of course of it's course that you know of course they deny it that that just puts you in a position where you can say anything about anyone and then they deny it and you go of course you deny it completely but it's, i'm just saying it's like a no win situation it isn't a, it is a no win situation <laughs> that's the, the nature of the beast though isn't it well that's the beauty of mayo they can you, say something you deny it and you go well you would fucking are you following along at home Pounds and drivers? <laughs> Are you getting this? Mm. The depths of Mayo. Mm. It's a lose lose situation. It's curly down. It is, it is interesting though, because like what happens is, is if they write a story, and I've spoken to some people that like have been in, had big profiles in sport, and you're always in this hard position between, let's say they write a story that's completely false. If you respond to that story, then they write a story about you responding to the story. And now all of a sudden, you're in their Trump. world of creating content that they want. Mm. You're and in the so, washing machine. Well, you ate the honey. You ate the honey. But it, but if you don't say, like, if you don't say anything, then whatever they say, people just believe it. You know, so there's a bunch of people out there right now that think uh, Kiraz and Alan had a blow at each other in the changing room. 
there's a bunch of people that just believe that now. And it's just this weird cycle of like, do you come out and deny it? Because then you get people like Tom going, he would say that. Or Well, I mean, I'm advocating for mayor. I'm joking. That's just, I'm that's joking. just the nature of the situation. I'm right? joking. If you're going to advocate What would you mayor, do in that situation? Seriously, and I'm not taking the piss. I'd fucking say if it was bullshit, I'd say it was bullshit as well. Mm. But some people don't say that. Some people would t turn the other cheek and say nothing. I'd be like, fuck off, I didn't say that. What would you Why say, Eddie? Do that? In, in a situation where it's a false story, would you just be like, I'm just going to let it go, not feed the beast, or would you feed the beast? Mate, honestly, I it depends what the allegations were. First, well, yeah, true, like, true. if it was fucking, if it was something like whatever, I just go ignore it because yeah. I'll move on to something else mm. and people forget. Yeah. They've, people forget like that. Yeah. Right? Like, could, there would have been a million things that have happened to all these players in the past that you just forgotten about. You just keep your fucking mouth shut, keep your head down. Matty, what would you do? I'd be one of those people that immediately bites back on emotion and then regrets it about they two minutes later. They want you to do that. Yeah. That's what I'll do. You gotta remember that's what I'd do as well. People Maddie. forget I'm way about too emotional. shit. People forget about shit like that. Yeah. Mate. Oh, for sure. I um I'm of the mind, unless it's like an outrageous one that's like smashing your character, you just you just gotta not say anything. Because it's just unless it's outrageous. Yeah, unless it's like but I also can completely like I can respect someone going. You know what? Fuck it. If it's still in the news cycle, like I don't give a fuck. If someone's talking about you, yeah, and it's not sure. true. It's like, nah, dude. Fuck you. I'm going to talk about it. But like, there's, a, there's a difference between making yourself feel better and what would be effective. Because mm. like yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. it's not effective. No, no, but, um, well, uh, it depends what your end goal is, right? If your end goal is I want people to stop talking about me, then just don't say anything. But if yours is I don't want everyone to think that of me then say it or i don't want you, this person to get away with just talking shit and, oh, but they, and but they no, want but they want they you want that it. so a perfect yeah, example that's fine though a that's perfect fine. example so you're actually doing what they want well you're doing what you want but like if you're able to at least cast doubt upon them as a like them as a journalist or like whatever you like again this is how i would probably operate <laughs> shockingly i'd be like fuck i don't care if i'm playing into your hands you're a fucking liar mm. and i'd probably be uh, like more aggressive a than just like, we didn't do it a perfect example is the george williams situation you know when he they came out and was like he was agi agitating for a release or whatever and he came out and denied it it made the story way bigger mm. and then all of a sudden they're and on bateman as well didn't and bateman, bateman as well and all of a sudden they're on 360 going like here's a picture of him smiling and yeah yeah you know, yeah. You know what i'm saying yeah, 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 yeah. and so the, the the tough thing is it's like they also ended up being true though what they both were trying to get out of their contracts not no not 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 it was Half I don't truths. Think at the time. That it's half truths. It was absolutely not true what they were saying, and and they changed there were, their yeah, language. There were specifics of what they were saying, sure, but they did still like both want to get out of their contract. No, not really, not really. So the Bateman situation no, no, it wasn't the wasn't the um wasn't the George Williams one with the he just wanted to go home at the end of the season or something and then come back. Mm. No, he, was, well, he, he wanted to keep playing. He he was willing to keep playing. That's what it was. But and his missus had a kid, season. and they were stuck in Australia. Um, and so he was in this tough spot of like going to them early on in the year and saying, my missus has a kid, like we're about to have a kid. Give me time. I'll give you time to find someone I'm telling you early. But then the, the article was basically like, he's going in agitating for release. He's going to sign for somewhere in Queens, like New South Wales, uh, like other NRL clubs. In the Bateman situation, he wanted to re-sign with the Raiders. And he went to the Raiders and said like, you know, I want to re-sign. They said, we don't have enough cap space for what you want. So basically you're free to negotiate elsewhere. So it wasn't here, them just coming in and going, give me a fucking release, I'm out of here. Like it was, it was much more nuanced than that. Mm. Um, it always is. But the tough thing is, is like, for example, George Williams situation, even if he comes out and denies it, there is still a large swath of people that say, and I'm not having a crack at you, that literally just say, of course you'd say that, you're a liar. You, you did ask for a release. I mean, even you guys right now, you felt like, well, they kind of were asking for, you know, agitating for release. But they, they were asking for a release. That's the reality. Bateman wasn't asking for a release. Okay, so. well, George Williams was. George Williams, yeah, but... I'm not saying that his reasons aren't completely legitimate. They are. They're completely fine. But he was asking for a release. But the context of the the, well, the way he was asking for release 100%. is very different to him agitating for a release to go to another NRL club. Completely. So, so like, I get, I get all of that. And the way that it's written about is bullshit, right? So if I'm George Williams, I go, this is why I want to release and this is what it is. Again, I'm not telling any, like... I've never been in the situation of being a player and having media scrutiny, but if I'm just thinking about how I'd react, if if, so, if I'm being misrepresented in the media, then like, and you've got people, so like there's an element of truth that you're asking for a release. And ultimately when you do get a release, that's gonna be the thing that people remember. But if there's a real, like if there's a much more legitimate reason, I completely can be like, I'd be just like, I'd say it. Mm. The tough, as I said, the tough thing is, is that if you say something, there's still gonna be a large group of people that just focus on 
this one bit of information mm. and all believe the journo because they want to believe the journo. They want to believe like you can't fuck this help guy. With those people. I mean, that's that's why it would be against coming out and saying something because no matter what you say, even if you're telling 100 percent the truth, there's going to be a group of people that just don't believe you and say, there's "Oh, you, another, but there's the rest so. of the fucking there's that group of people who are never going to believe you no matter what you say," and then there's everyone else. Yeah, for sure. But again you create more of a fire. You, now more people remember the George Williams situation because of that, because it was so big. Whereas if he didn't come out and say anything, and I, again, I don't know what I would do, whether I would say or mm. wouldn't say, but the, the story would be smaller. It wouldn't be as big, wouldn't be as dramatic. But the only, it was a pretty big but story. The only, the only line of it you're hearing is agitating for release, fucking Bateman agitating for release, this, that. So you're only allowing, it, whilst it may not be as big, you're allowing the narrative to be dictated by people who aren't representing you fairly. So like the... Obviously, you're, you're weighing up. Do I want to get fucking... Do I want this thing to be like a bigger story? Uh, but at least I am letting people know the actual truth of the matter. Or do I just go, fuck it. This, is, this potentially is going to look bad on my character. It's, and I'm just going to say nothing. It's horse for courses, I think. Yeah. yeah. Because like the George Wounds thing, it was almost made it worse. But was Nathan Brown when he was like, I'm not going to go back to the Warriors? Yeah. And then originally everyone was like, what the fuck? But and then, then he came out and explained it. You're like, oh... Yeah, like a really sense. reasonable fucking yeah. reason not to. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, hundred percent. That both. was a perfect. It, it really is a bit of both. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, and th- picking your moment, like the t- I think yeah. the tough thing for players is like this. It feels like some journo's have a quite adverse, uh, adversarial, adversarial, adversarial relationship with players. Like it's kind of us versus them. Whereas yeah. I feel like a guy like Nathan Brown that's been in the media a little bit has the connection to be able to like have a fair. Well, he went on three. Did he go on 360? The 90 that, that fucking, night? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I just think that. I like, don't think the do players you, would be given that platform sometimes. Yeah, or if they were given that platform, they'd be getting yelled at, like <laughs> literally yelled at. Remember when um, the Rugby League Player Association went on there? And he was oh, like, no, that was, that on, was on, the, that was on the triple, on triple M. M. Yeah, 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 he was like, that mate, was Clint fucking Newton brutal. Just got screamed at for like. Literally got five, yelled man. at. And he was and like, and then it was like, was it Kenty? Yeah, it was He's like, mate, I like it. I let him have a word. He's like, like no, nah, you, you were didn't, yelling. <laughs> no, you didn't, bro. Um, but yeah, it's a tough situation. I don't know what the right answer is to it. I really, really don't. Like, there's been so many players that have had certain narratives ran about them. And then when you speak to them privately, you're like, fuck. And they're like, but there's no point in me coming out because then I just get smashed by all, like, all these other things get brought up and, and, and it just gets worse. So yeah, I don't know what the fucking right answer is. It's a tough one. Um, Cowboys v Broncos. Cows. <laughs> Leilua to debut oh, Reynolds so returns Leilua to debut So when did they Because I thought when that whole thing was Like the deal hadn't been signed mm. and I, I, I must have completely missed the yeah, deal Yeah it, got, it got sorted It right, got sorted Okay fuck um, Yeah I think probably the Cowboys But I like Cobo for two Because Reynolds is back Cows at home Fucking playing good footy well, Broncos are shit Cows <laughs> Cows are playing a dollar fifty. Is uh, Payne playing or is he? What well, that? he's named, but oh man, I'm getting to the point with Payne. I'm like, mate, you're too tough. You're going good. Just yeah, like, give him a rest. Give a f- have a week off, bro. You've earned it. Jesus Christ. You've got two AC joints. Two shoulders. ACs, and you've been in a moon boot. Talk about tough, man. He's got to be like one of the me- most mentally tough players in the NRL right now. Even when he like goes through Ramadan. Apologies if I'm mm. getting uh, pronouncing that wrong. Um, where he doesn't eat between. Sun, sun up, up sun and sun down and he just has water and he plays no i don't think you can have oh can you just have water is that i what think it? you can just have water oh i don't, it's some, I don't I even know if you're allowed if you were, oh you really water. could you please google that because I, I thought it was like those things where like hasm and sunny were playing it was like they can't even have water on the field when oh they're yeah you know how mentally tough you got to be to do I, that i feel like you can't like i'm not mentally tough enough know. for that yeah I, you're I right know. you can't have anything not, well, not water not chewing exe- gum. can you make an exception if you're like are there exceptions or? Uh, I'll, I'll look. Like, I'm sure just, there'd be just, certain it's scenarios. It's just during the, what during the really daylight just, hours. No, I mean like if you're- it's life-threatening session. Or session. Well, at work well, or like sure. if you're playing footy. No, no, know. no. Like, dude, Hasn't played- I remember <laughs> Hasn't playing some game on like a hot fucking day and he was- and the whole- the I, You know how much I respect that shit when I see like people- like for Has to do that, the mental fortitude is just like on another level. Mm-hmm. Seriously crazy. As a young man as well. Uh, and dedication to something bigger than yourself. I, I admire that shit. Um, Cowboys to Broncos. Uh, I think Broncos 1 to 12. I think it's going to be a cracking match. Usually, like in our heyday, we always had close matches Broncos, Cowboys. 
um, as in not my heyday, but like. I very time. much enjoyed that period of time. It's like mm, you two motherfuckers goal. went back and forth, field goal after field goal. Obviously, the Cowboys steal the premiership out of your jaws with a defensive lapse. Um, Similar to like the when Val Holmes um, scored against you guys on the buzzer. Not as that? much on the line, thankfully, but yeah. Yeah, obviously it was tough. It's similar though, like similarish, you know? Yeah, like, like your your guy dropped the ball. And we he's just, just we like, just big moments, big moments. Of yeah, but like I'm talking about when you like <laughs> literally lost the premiership when it was like home and hosed, <laughs> and the siren went. Yeah, and the ball was still alive because <laughs> no one wanted to make a tackle. <laughs> flick pass. And then Michael Morgan just goes, "Oh, can I just stroll through here? Bang, yeah. flick pass. Wingers jam, wingers jam, yeah. wingers jam. Um, so it's like a bit similar to the home situation where you're. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, I do like the fixture though. I do like the fixture. I'm like going to go Cowboys Bronx. versus the Bronx. You like the concept? I'm going, bro. I like the concept. I love Here's the, the concept. concept. I love the concept. You like the concept? North versus South. Love it. Yeah? It's classic. Yeah. It's classic stuff. I think Broncos get it done. Did you guys watch Peaky Blinders last season? Never no. seen it. You've never watched Peaky Blinders? I've Have you? up to season three or four. Damn. Three. Did you watch it, Matty? Nah, I've never seen it either. Really? But Matty, he doesn't, he doesn't, I don't know what you do with Yeah, what the fuck He do doesn't do? watch movies. He doesn't watch TV shows. He does TikToks and shit. Oh, yeah. that's right. Scissors. Scissors. Yeah. At Matt Buxton 22. Yep, thanks again. That's the Instagram. Give her a follow. It's better than our three's Instagram. That's for sure. Yeah. Much better. Much better. Well, um, there's more content on there. That's for sure. Yeah. And some of it's pretty cheesy. So. <laughs> 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 He's in the honeymoon phase still. Yeah, oh, yeah. big time. How long does the honeymoon phase last for you so far? Well, we officially got together in September. So it's almost a year. That's a long honeymoon phase. But... Enjoy it, bro. Are you kind of taking the piss a little bit with the honeymoon phase? I feel like you're not respecting the honeymoon phase. I think you need to get into the drudgery. How long have you been going out for? Oh, what, 10 months? <sighs> Run out of time. You don't see many over a year. Yeah, no, honeymoon you phase. Usually six months, Matt. Plus year is pretty fucking... I feel like you're taking the piss out of the honeymoon phase, bro. That's all right. I'm just leaping above everyone else. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay. Matty Buxton. Matty Buxton, 22, 22, honeymoon phase. Going long Swimming. and strong. <laughs> um, Broncos get the job done. South versus Eels. South get absolutely pumped. Fuck you, Matty. Um, no, no. South versus Eels. Latrell returns. I'm actually extremely excited for Big Latrell to return. How do you boys see this game playing out? I can't trust South anymore. My, my yeah, trust you can't South trust the Eels either. No, but I can trust them more than you can trust South. Fuck it. Really? Yeah. So you're a fan you of Eels? I think now? they get a, a, an injection of Latrell. Uh, yeah, they get, a trail, they get a trail injection, uh, but I just can't trust South. So whilst I hate the Eels, hate can be trumped by a lack of trust. And so I'm saying the Eels win this one. Yep. South are hard to trust. I'm with you. <laughs> South are really hard to trust. Yeah, dude. But there's just something about big, bad Latrell. Eels are like the most inconsistent side in the comp. South though got that 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 game against the Dragons. I went. I don't trust. But you her. could. But you her. could argue. You could argue that the Eels perform well against, in quotations, good sides and poorly against shit sides. Now you could argue that after South's performance against Dragons, they slip into a shit team category. <laughs> the Eels. You could make that argument. I'd say a South with Latrell coming back, a better team category. They got good players. South have good players, and whilst. Don't ask Jason Demetrio this, but I reckon he might he might say at least you know in his nightmares that they miss Adam Reynolds. They're still a good side. I just wish that someone at every press conference said, "Could you use Adam out there? Could you use Adam out there? Just please, if you're a journo that listens to this, just once, just throw it in there." I try each to remember to tweet it after yeah. every South loss. I just want to see his head explode. Yeah, yeah. Just, just and just it'd be the, one of the all-time trolls. Just a journo. You use Adam Reynolds out there, mate. You reckon you could have used Adam Reynolds out there tonight, mate? You miss Adam tonight, mate? Especially when the Broncos pumped him twice. And you're like, oof. Adam could have <laughs> you imagine out there. him getting that, like it's like round 25. And it's like, mm. mate, you reckon you could have used Adam Reynolds out there? So, like, season's over. Didn't make the eight. How do you, uh, what do you, what do you put it down? Do you reckon Adam Reynolds could have used it? Window's now closed. <laughs> window's closed. Did um, Adam close the window when he left? Well, the window's closed. He literally yeah. left. It's closed now. He wound it up when he left. The window. Well, he, no, he told he told Reynolds to climb out of it yeah. and then Locked wound it, it shut. <laughs> Adam and drilled it. Jason, Jason, I've got uh, <laughs> Adam Reynolds here or Cody Walker. Who's you know, premierships on my watch. Nah. Um, I'm so going to go the I'm going Eels. Eels. Yep. Eels. Uh, now, Warriors, Tigers. Tigers. Spoil on the day. Warriors. Warriors. Warriors and Warriors. Uh, well, Warriors for reasons above. Yeah, Warriors and Warriors. Well, Dragons, Raiders. Raiders. 
Jack White and score a try. Yeah, I'm going Raiders. I yeah, I think Raiders. I think Raiders. And just quickly, UFC this week got Adesanya. Guess who he's going for? Guess who he's going for? Are you you going for the other guy? I'm going for. for I'm going for Volkanovski. You're going for Holloway. Holloway. I'm not going. Yes, you are. I'm going for Volkanovski. I'm going for Volkanovski. Tell the truth. I am telling you the truth. I'm going he for Volkanovski. G- gracefully came on your podcast. I love it. And you're going for Holloway. I'm not going for Holloway. <laughs> he, he thinks Holloway will win. I'm concerned. Oh, my God. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned as well. I'm concerned. About I'm your concerned. patriotism. Patri- oh, Jesus patriotism. Christ, you've had a shocker today. I... <laughs> he thinks he thinks Holloway will win in the third, or the second or third round. What do you, what do you reckon? Second round. I feel I'm second round. Yeah, dude, I know. He wins. I know. It's it's not a something that I'm happy about, but I don't I want to come and lie to the player in the triple. I can't believe you're even putting I'd this energy you out there. Did. You wonder why your club's cursed. You wonder no. why your club's cursed. I'd dude, rather you did lie about it. I'm to not be honest. Happy. Volk, a dear friend, very caring. A dear, dear friend. friend. Yeah. A dear friend. Unbelievable. I want him to win. That's cr- like, you've, but you're also fucking my relationship with him because yeah. we come as a bit He's of a duo. Not again. You stop drawing so much attention to it and just allow it to be. Because well, you're right, it's fucking you. Well, I'm going to message him. I'm going to message him and say Tom backed Holloway. Well, listen, that's if you're going to do that. That's I think that's mean spirited. I don't think he needs that energy leading into the fight. I think you just I'll do it after the fight. Yeah, all right, do it after. He can choke me out again. If <laughs> I don't I'm think wrong, you want to go near you, mate. If I'm wrong, he can choke me out. Volk decision <clears throat> puts it to bed. Fuck are you, the lot of you. I'm going Volk finish. Do you reckon finish. he'll finish him? Yep. Do you well, reckon Holloway can be finished? Finish only, it's a, my only reason why I changed my mind, and look, I don't know if, anything about UFC, but just literally today there was a video put up of Holloway and he looked drained as fuck signing posters. Oh, like, really? He looked – actually, you know what? Oh, get it up. Yeah, I'll change my up. bed if he looks drained. Mate, he looks <laughs> he looks bad. Like, he's got no, to he stop won't. fighting in this uh, weight division because holy heckers. Um, oh, he does. Oh, look, bro. He doesn't look good. Oh, oh, bro. bro. Oh. Oh, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. Round sure. three, eh? Round two? Is what you reckon? Now, I know his cuts are always tough. I'm not saying that they're not, but... He looks... It looks t- he looks like he's struggling massively yes, there. Yes, he does. He doesn't look like he's, he's in a good way. Oh. He's you know what I'll do? Because I'm anything. still going max round two. Have to. Dog. Dog. But I'm going to hedge... And I'll oh, say Volk, Volk round four. Nothing, you know what's worse than a bloke picking against his countryman is a bloke that picks against his countryman and then hedges. This is the punting game, bro. This is what it's about. Mm. There's something deeper than punting, and yeah. it's your countryman getting yeah. Ws. I can't get around that. Not in a world title fight. Fuck me. Um, yeah, I reckon Volk gets a round four finish. Round four finish. Uh Adesanya versus, is it Cannoneer? Cannoneer, Cannoneer, yeah. I think Izzy round two. Yeah, I, I think Izzy gets a job done quite quite well, yeah. quite strong. He yeah. gets hit, Jared, and apparently he's just going to walk forward. Did you say that? That's not a good idea. Why would you off. walk forward against Adesanya? <laughs> Get your head it's literally really kicked sent. off. Adesanya is such a gun, bro, yeah. far out. He's honestly like in the matrix, literally. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Adesanya, who you got? Yeah, Adesanya. Adesanya. Adesanya? Yeah, bro. And then we've got the boxing tonight. One yeah, of the great we're doing fights. A, uh, we're doing a fucking three fight commentary slash not commentary, but companion stint on uh, KO this evening. So oh, are you? Tune, tune in. Tune in on KO. It's, you don't actually even need a KO subscription. You can uh, in front of do the, the freebies as well. But and so, you just like click Hello Sport or you. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see it's like the alternate commentary. Again, commentary, a very loose and generous term. Um, it's not commentary. It's like. It's a companion. Companion. It's a companion for the Biffs. Mm. Um, kicking it off with uh, Ben Hannett v. Hodjo, and then we'll do the uh, the co- co-main and the main as well. Well, make sure to listen to the boys. Commentate. Uh, Hodjo versus Hannett, who you got? I've got Hodjo, but Hannett's been fucking playing some mind games. Didn't show up to the presser, <laughs> late to the way in Now, I don't know if that's mind games. Like, I don't know how sort of cerebral Ben Hannett is. Is? Oh, the omelette. He's cerebral, all right. The omelette? Yeah. That's his nickname. The okay. Omelet. The omelette. Love Dude, that. Dude, I'm, I'm team omelette, bro. It could be an omelette. Like, this could it's be... Omelette-based uh, victory. Yeah, he I could like, be, he could can be, I be honest with you? I love omelettes. Yeah. I actually love omelettes, and I actually like... I'm not like a huge omelette guy. Omelettes? You like omelettes? I prefer scrambled. I love scrambled eggs, but, like, you tell me you don't like omelettes? I, yeah, I'm saying I prefer a scrambled Have you had omelet. a good omelette? Yeah, of course I have. I prefer scrambled omelettes. 
Like omelette would be my probably close to least favorite serving of eggs. I think you've had a good omelette. Is that your favorite serving of eggs? You're a quiche guy as well, aren't you? I can tell you. That's what. If you're an omelette guy, you're also a quiche guy. And why that's cool. can why can I? Why that's cool, why dude. Why do I have to? I just don't like quiches and omelettes. Very as much. aggressive you, today. But Very you, aggressive today. But you, I don't understand how you can go. I don't like omelettes. I'm saying I I, they're my least like, favorite. I like both. Mm. They're my least favorite version Pretty much of eggs. Thing. Least, least favourite favorite? version of eggs. And his nickname is The Omelette. Very aggressive today. Are you good, bro? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't have much sleep. Kids aren't sleeping. I'm coming Tell them to in. get a bed. Uh, <laughs> beg your pardon? Tell them to get a bed. bed. Yeah, it's a Tell good point. Tell me to sleep. No, it's a good oh, point. Oh, kids, go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't be that aggressive. You're a parent, mate. Nah, well, look, I don't know. I just, that's, I just like, tra- that's traumatic. Like, to swear at your kid like that? Not good, bro. No, dude, that's what you got to do. You got to scream. Yeah. You should listen to Beacon Eddie's podcast. Oh, yeah. What's it called? It's pretty good. For parenting. What's it called? Yeah. It's called Bacon Eddie talk kids yeah. stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait to talk see kids it. in that. Very aggressive today, though. Very aggressive. Mate, you got to come in hot sometimes, yeah, especially yeah. when you don't have sleep. Like, when you don't have sleep, you kind of have to bring energy beyond yourself, right? Yeah, so it's okay. like, you know, 79th minute origin. I haven't fucking come off, had a rest. Yep. I've been up all night. For like so it's a Jakey Trevojevic performance for you. It's sort of, that's what it is. It's, yeah, okay. Um, I'm channeling Jake. 71 minutes in the middle? Is that what it was? Yep. Had about even before this... And as I said, zero sleep for the last eight months, uh, and it's starting to sort of like you know, catch up. I'm a little starting bit. to like jump at shadows and shit. So well, I need to get a bit earlier. That's also a good point. Which I know I you don't. Do that. Yeah, <laughs> that, that that would help yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, the kids to go to bed. Well, sometimes and go to bed if they're yourself. crying in the room with you. Soundproof rooms. Yeah, but I don't own a soundproof room, so that's not. You own possible. a Beamer. Well, I do. I could put him in the car. Could I go and I could put Zoe in the car? <laughs> they're soundproof, aren't they? The Beamers. Oh, yeah, double paint soundproof glass, mate. <laughs> Tinted as well, so you don't have anyone seeing it. But then she's in the car. I've got to go in and out, fucking to the house, to go to the car. You know, it's a fucking nightmare, dude. Um, Wilson versus uh, Ru- Ruida. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to back Wilson because yeah, he's Yeah, I'm backing boy. Wilson. I saw his last fight and he freaked the guy out. And uh, um, Paulo Robert. Or is it Paulo Paul Acuso? Acuso? I think it's Acuso. Apologies for getting that wrong. He's a young uh, fighter coming up. Very slick. He Literally, I think the first punch he threw on his debut, he dropped a dude. Like, he's quick as anything. Very entertaining fighter. So I'm going Paulo. Uh, I think he gets the job done. Uh, and Shannon O'Connell versus Sarah Higginson. No, I don't... Um, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to go O'Connell. I think we need O'Connell because I spy some tattooed hands. Now, yeah, assuming true. that you start left to right. Mm. Yeah, assuming that I'm yeah. going to have to come with you. Okay, tat on the hand. Yeah, tat on the hand is worth a dollar in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anything much. going on, boys? That you need to <laughs> let the punter and dribbler know uh, tonight. Tonight, Biffs. 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 Tonight, okay. yeah. Biffs. Biffs from tonight. where we're on from around eight. It's free. It's not a pay Okay, it's free. It's free. It's free. APM. Okay, is it five free? Five free. Till free. Okay. Take the kids to bed okay. before you do it. Yes, well, I will. And if you don't have KO, which is disgraceful, you don't need it. You just go there at some it's of the freebies. It's freebies. It's in front of the paywall. Not bad. On not KO. bad. Uh, so make sure to tune in. Uh, no Limit card as well. They put on the best cards. Uh, make sure to grab a bloke hoodie. We've got a few left. Grab a case of bloke in a bar. We're now in every single celebrations. Bottolo, Porter's Liquor, IGA, Plus Liquor, and New South Wales ACT. Every single celebration superstore in Queensland. And our mid-strength is in every liquor legends in the country. So go to liquorlegends.com.au. You put in your postcode to show you're the nearest stockist. It'll stock bloke midi. As usual, I'll go and fuck myself. Thank you. Ew.